Hey, what up, homies? Poof. We are back playing um, Baldur's Gate 3 again. I am very excited. Let's just switch right into the game. Who needs intros? We don't need intros. We also don't need music because we got ourselves here playing the fucking flute. Um, welcome back to uh, Chill with Shuni. I'm still Shuni. Um, yeah, we are playing Baldur's Gate with our monk character here. We are currently serenading all these people here. Still extremely sus of where the fuck is she there, this person. We'll see. Um, first of all, for all my VOD homies, there will be uh, timestamps and uh, yeah, timestamps in the description as well as the first pinned comment below. Once I've actually had the time to edit those in, um, it usually takes some time. Uh, once I'm done streaming, YouTube has to work with whatever I sent them there um, and it takes some time until uh, this content is ready to be skippable through so I can fast uh, fast pace through there and um, find relevant spots to put those uh, timestamps in. So bear with me, but all my VOD homies click there if you want to skip shit, like for example this intro. Oh wow! <laughs> I hadn't even noticed our sculpture is here. Nice. It's got both strength and it's invulnerable, but it only has one HP. It's even shiny. Shit. Nice. <laughs> Good to know. Um, damn, should have made, made made that naked, man. Shit. Well, too late. Um, short little recap from what we did yesterday. And first of all, let's stop playing this flute because it's insanely loud. Um... What did we do yesterday? We went to the, uh, to the to the circus, to the circus of the last day in Rivington. Talked to a bunch of people there. We sent uh, Will to the gin. He managed to slightly cheat the gin after the gin che cheated us at his Wheel of Fortune. And as a thanks, Will got sent to the Jurassic Park realm and had to sneak his way through a bunch of... Uh, not quite Velociraptors, but as a um, as a win that we got from that, we got uh, here. Uh, Karak now has this uh, this trident, Nirolna. That seems pretty cool. Let's see how good it actually is. Um, also, while at the circus, we watched a clown perform, and this clown brought us up on stage. And once he did, he and his stupid little dog tried to attack us uh, shortly after revealing to us that they are actually from the Absolute. Who could have fucking guessed? They were shapeshifters. Of course, we fucked them up, like we do. Um, and we got tasked with um, finding the actual clown. Uh, I've got part of him here in my inventory. I got a severed torso, so clowny boy ain't alive anymore. But uh, we are still tasked with finding the rest of him, so like... Five more parts, uh, all the extremities and its head, I guess. <laughs> this is what we have to do. Um, after that, we went outside of the circus again, talked to a bunch of other people, and we found like a secret, like a cave entrance. We killed some more shapeshifters. This is where we got this torso from. And from that place, we managed to sneak our way into... I think it's the monastery of the open hand that is in this town, um, but we just, as we do, we don't go in through the front door. Again, we went through like a broken wall in the crypt in this cave. So we went in there, we managed to drop off our amulet that's, that, that doesn't have any cool features anymore, especially the key restoration feature isn't here anymore because we finished that quest and that, uh, that crazy monk spirit in there just like we set him free and uh, we took on his curse we managed to deal with that and now we have this uh, tasha's hideous laughter skill just as a core skill in our set and uh, that's that's the bonus that we got from that um next thing i wanted to do now was go deeper into this monastery but uh of course this brain uh, this brain this game uh, lives rent free in the apartment of my brain so i constantly keep thinking of it and I realized that I can cast uh, speak to dead to those shapeshifters that we killed before um, we completely or I completely like ignored that the spell even exists because we spent like I don't know eight hours ten hours in the um, in the shadow cursed realms and in there we couldn't do it nobody wouldn't no, no corpse that we found 
would talk to us, so I completely, like, erased out of my memory that this spell even exists. Um, so there's 30 bodies there that we can talk to, maybe find out some more about, like, you know, where the rest of this, this, this corpse is, and um, maybe where they came from. Mm, for now, give me a little bit of cleanup time here. I forgot to do it um, off stream because I didn't have much time today. Just quickly shove that shit in here. We got the bull strength passive now, so we don't have to like clean up here. So we are actually able to pick new shit up. Um, so that's good. I just want to make it a little bit easier to work with this um, while we are playing. So just quickly send this shit off. We got a bunch of cool dice that we have to try out. Mm, but maybe not, not on this uh, um, this outfit. We are about to go once we've uh, like checked these person, th these people, these 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 shapeshifter people. We will go into the monastery, and uh, since it's called uh, Monastery of the Open Hand or something like that, um, I highly suspect that there's gonna be um, like shit that we can buy, outfit for us, outfits for us, uh, helpful perks. Um, that's what I expect there. We got like 5k left since we spent 5k on this really insanely cool statue. I mean, look at it. <laughs> Jesus. Does it have the clown makeup? No, it doesn't. That's good. Um, I wonder if we can like commission more of those um, in a cooler pose maybe or like just naked. <laughs> like, I didn't know. Um, maybe it switches for outfit once we switch outfit ourselves. Who know? Who knows? Um, I think we're done now with the intro. We're eight minutes in. I think we've I've said everything there is to say. So just let's just leave. I think. Yeah, we don't have to look. Have a look at these. I'll, I'll clean that up later. This time I actually will. Um, so uh, let's just leave. Why do I only have eight? Oh yeah, because I got those gloves of power on. All right. So. We leave camp. This is the crypt we're in and we came through this room and this room and this wall. <laughs> Apparently Will hasn't even managed to get in. <laughs> I now notice. Hey Will, what up? Want to join us? Uh, so let's go back to I'll give it a shot. to the people we bonked over the head and talk to him. Also, there's um, other corpses here. Maybe they also have shit to say. And since we don't have to spend scrolls on that, because my best girl Shadowheart has to speak with that as a skill now, we can just uh, talk to them. <laughs> oh. Why not? This way. Do the others. The corpse does not respond. See? This is why I forget that we have this move, because it apparently doesn't work all the time. Uh alright. Wait, this one is shiny. Maybe he has something to say? Okay, so shiny corpses seem to have the corpse regards you abilities. Uh, oh damn! Who are you? Did you kill Father Lorgan? What were you doing here? What? Who do you work for? How many of you are there? I found this flowery key. What is it for? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Flop house. Dolos. Secrets. All right. Um, who was Dolo? Our blood red dwarf. Tricky. Hungry. Okay. Um, so we have three questions left, and we obviously have to decide which ones we pick. Um, how many of you are there? just seems stupid to ask that because you know we're gonna run into them either way and there's probably a million so this doesn't give us much information 
this could be good who do you work for is dola one of you it's just because this question is in here i suspect that he isn't one of them uh maybe he is um and well, we could be a victim or he could be no he said our it's he's probably a client is my guess where is he now what were you doing here did you kill for father lorgan let's go for this first <sighs> Alright. We don't give a fuck about who he is. Um, I th what were you doing here? My sus I suspect that they were just like luring people in so they have something to transform into. Where is Dola now? Is Dola one of you? Who do you work for? Oh fuck, I think I'm gonna go for is Dola one of you. Maybe it gives us a little bit of leeway in some conversations yes but once more okay ambitious huh what does dolo want who do you work for how many more of you are there this seems interesting i suspect it's Oren, possibly where is dolo now Okay, let's go deeper here. Uh, what does you what does Dolo want? Transcendence. So he's of the absolute. Right? The spell's power waits. Okay. You can ask no more questions. It's good to know. And again, I noticed this now, uh, 85 hours into this playthrough. That um, apparently once if we have cast this once, first of all, we can recast it without spending a, a spell slot. Did we even spend a spell slot? No, we didn't. We spent a ritual. Um, we... Uh, uh, so it seems like, apparently, corpses that we are allowed to talk to are, are shiny. I didn't know that. Looking ahead. How it's kind of helpful, because now since we've cast it, I think they'll be shiny forever. So whatever corpse we run into that's shiny, we can talk to that. So we don't have to click like a million dead people. Okay, now we have to manage to get Will in here. Oops. Sharp as ever. Oh. No time to rest. Have a lot on my mind, and well, in it. Mm -hmm. If not over, then through. Is this loud enough? Turn it up a little bit, huh? Uh, wasn't there another door here? There was. So this could, um, it could possibly be. The monastery, I'm not sure. Just let's just check all these doors. We gotta look at everything, so you know. No point in hesitating. Um There's a ladder here. And a pouch. Ooh, what I'm alone. It's a whole chicken. So does this lead into this? No, it doesn't. So this is... It's a dead end, so we have to go... Of course it doesn't, it's a ladder. Ah. <laughs> I still don't know what ropes are for. We haven't crafted anything. So I've picked up like 10 and we haven't used one of them ever. Alright, let's just go up. See if people are okay with us, but just 
randomly stomping into their rooms. Open hand temple. Don't risk being in open view. Uh, don't hide. Hi. I've said all I have to say already. Now I just want to pack up my kitchen and leave. Um. Not to us, you didn't. Why are you packing up your kitchen? These fucking clowns coming out of the gutter. <laughs> uh, you should probably clean up the massive blood trail before you go. Uh huh. I'm not touching it. Not with a mop ten yards long. That's Father Logan's blood. Okay, is this bugging out? What? Who the hell is Father Logan? We actually were able to ask that dead person that. Did I forget forget anything? Can you think of anyone who'd want to kill Father kill Some Logan? Folk didn't like how he looked after the refugees, but I don't think they'd kill him for it. At least, I hope they wouldn't. That's a scary thought. Okay, I think we have to go to the front end of this, um, of this place. I feel like we are like Very well. starting up at the end here. Everything. Let's just go back out to the front here. At least let the children in. Do we have any information of Lor on Lorgan? I don't think we have. This is weird. Let's talk to these people. The priests will open the temple up again. You will see. They're good people. Holy people. Bet you won't get kicked out of the temple. They blame us for everything. Who? The Tieflings? Look at me. <laughs> if you're looking for Il Marta's charity, you're out of luck. They've turned their backs on us, like everyone else. Can I please have some food? Oh, sorry. I thought you were a priest. Could still give him food, but we don't get the option. Um, I feel like we've missed an important story beat. Area under investigation. Flaming fist investigation underway. Stay back. So apparently Father Lorgan is dead. It might very well just be that I actually didn't notice or didn't... You know, remember that we got that information? It's, this seems completely new to me. I don't even know who Lorgan is. He's probably the head of this this temple here. Um, <laughs> what the hell? That's a weird ass. <laughs> Let's just put two hands here on the front. Um, maybe we got that information. I can't recall that we did, but you know, goldfish brain be goldfishing. The crying one weeps today. Our father Logan is dead. Murdered. I... Th <laughs> Who is father Logan? <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, sure. I guess I shouldn't have come through the back door, huh? The best of us. I... I don't want to talk. My heart is in mourning. I'll make you talk. I need information. Uh, what up? We let more outsiders in and more Baldurians die. Duke Stelney, Father Lorcan. It's no coincidence. Even more of these we assholes, faith huh? Faith here, Bill. Faith in people. No matter where they're from. Who had more faith than Father Lorcan? How did that work out? Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> nice conversation and there's these four gloomy scary guys with the makeup with the with the clown makeup and all <laughs> bloodied all over what are you talking about he was murdered or so i've heard i heard your priest died my condolences uh-huh thank you stranger father lorgan's passing <laughs> has saddened us all passing <laughs> he was murdered by one of the fugitives he was harboring Bill, I beg you, be quiet. Even sinners receive Ilmater's grace, and Father Lorgan knew that. 
We don't pick and choose who we aid. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, monk. To offer, to offer arms to all who need it. That is the sign of a noble soul. Uh-huh. If Father Lorgan had been pickier, he might still have been alive. Nah. This Thank one. You, stranger. I take some solace knowing that he died in Ilmater's service. Does Ilmater's service involve protecting heretic absolutists? Or perhaps I missed that sermon. Enough, Bill. Damn. You seem a kind soul. Our temple is open to you. Walk well. Shadow Heart is inspired. Uh, Scorn Closed Heart. Side with the open minded priest. Nice. Who the f. Did. Would someone have gotten the, uh, an inspiration from siding with this asshole? Um, okay, so what do we do in here? Apart from not stealing? Ugh. What the fuck is this? Is that a flying elephant? What the hell? Dumbo. The suffering masses. Read. To, so, uh, to solve a scar or stitch a broken seam of skin is simple, but a curative for the soul, for the malaise of suffering that sits betwixt one's ear and one's heart, that is a harder bomb to apply. We faithful tormented must practice listening most intently and hope that the act of spilling sorrow from stuttering mouths is itself soothing. We must learn which words to speak in fetid silence and when, we sp and when to speak them. But most of all, when to let tranquil reflection be. Soups of the realms by Brother Donick. A selection of soups have been outlined in the sticky, often splattered pages of this missive. Dippin' soup. Sometimes you've got nice bread and nothing's better than dipped bread. Mo mash up healthy chunk of tomatoes nice and pulpy in a pot. Getting rid of the skins if you can't be bothered. Cut half an onion. Slap a couple garlic gloves with the, uh, with your plum. <laughs> Slap a couple garlic gloves garlic gloves with your palm. Ha cha! Grab a couple herbs if you got them. Dried will do. Cut a small chunk of lard or other fat. Crack some salt and pepper. Add to the tomatoes. Heat your pot for half a, for half a, for a half hour or so until thick and dippable. Pick out your chunks of onion, lovely snack, and garlic, smelly snack, and taste for seasoning. Taste for pleasure with some nice bread, a hunk of cheese, or just scoop with your hands if that's all you got. Potato chowder. Look, if all you've got is potatoes, you've got to make potato soup. This chowder makes it not horrid. Put your lard in a pot, a chunky one, mind. When it stops being blard and starts being hot lard, <laughs> add any good smelling veggies, leeks, garlics, onions that you've chopped all thin. Please salt this so it doesn't taste of nothing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When it's soft and good smelling, chuck in any floor you've got and stir the mixture so it don't burn. Note for me, it's very important to not burn it. Emphasize. 5. Please do not let it burn. Let it be rubbish. Uh, 2.5. 2 uh, 3. If you're fancy and have wine or have a generously stocked temple wine cellar nearby, add a bit of it now and cook it off. When it's gone, add some wedged potatoes and a, lit and a lot more liquid. Not wine this time, or you'll have a headache the next morning. Cook it for half an hour or so till the potatoes are nice and tender, and mash some of them up in the liquid. If you've got any cow products, cheese, milk, and the like, add them now for extra delicious results. We're just gonna read everything here like we do. Lo, a most joyous sensation. For the eyes of Father Sormel of the open hand temple only. <laughs> sure, that's me. Field report, bent under the vout, Marpenoth 12, 1368 DR. Today, a roughshod group of adventuring swords happened upon my little patch of firewine bridge, so I naturally espoused the benefits of our shattered saint unto them. Can you conceive of what they said to me, arch suffer? After I had warned them of the evils of the most perverted of magics, this group of degenerates claimed to house a sorceress. Sorceress! They would not heed my warnings about this degenerate magic, nor would they cast off all earthy belongings and join my flock. The feeling in the pit of my stomach as they cast pitying eyes across my pathetic form. What exquisite, holy suffering. 
Uh, sure. Is there more here? No, we've read this. There's this plaque here that we can use. I hope we can use it. Can we use it? Kitchen. Okay. Visitors kindly keep to common areas. Food will be served at meal times. Sure. So let's talk to these guys. Look, investigator. Brilgor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. <laughs> you nice are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgor killed Father Lorgan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. Shitey little elephant. Oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of Ilmata. Sounded like you're having quite the agreement, uh, disagreement. Apology accepted. Don't apologize. Brogor couldn't have killed Father Lorgan. He doesn't fit the killer's profile. How do we know that? I don't imagine Ilmata cares about you swearing. Sounded like you were having quite the argument, the disagreement. I don't... Have I missed something? Why? Huh? You could certainly say that. Two people just died on temple grounds. Our high priest, Father Logan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor, the politically convenient target. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you think the investigator did a shoddy job, I can look into the murder for you. You should worry more about your temple's safety than this Brilgor person. What makes Brilgor politically convenient? Well, obviously because he's a refugee. Uh, so we just look into the murder. I mean, this will probably still be open. So let's just see. Maybe there's something we don't think about. Brilgor was a refugee. No one sticks up for them at the best of times. And with Gortash in power... Well... I expect the Flaming Fists will ban refugee aid now one of them's blamed for murder. Let me help you. Why is this... Isn't it a Tyler size? Whatever. Uh, I'll look around, see if there's anything to prove Bilgo are innocent. I'm sure there are plenty of people from Baldur's Gate who still need your help. Stick to being a place of worship. Helping people got your high priest killed. What the hell? Uh, I'm gonna help. Feel free to look around the temple. But fair warning. The investigator won't change her mind without significant new evidence. Uh, where can I find the investigator? Any idea what I should be looking for? Uh, where can I find him? Charette's caress would be my oh. best bet. That's her usual haunt after closing a case. Good to know. We need to get there either way. Uh, what should I be looking for? Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. Anything disproving the refugee murder suicide angle, really. Damn. I really hope you find something. Detective mode, oh, huh? Willis inspired. Trusting your instincts. Take up Valeria's shoddily concluded investigation. Order of Ilmateri uh, service, I guess it's pronounced. A mass book used by the Broken Gods congregation during, during regular services. There are a lot of hymns about self-flogging scattered throughout the tomb. By the way, I don't think we're gonna get anything, any cool outfits here. Um, Colfax, it's a magnifying glass. We kind of need that because we are investigators now. Um, Colfax's compendium, compendium of Consecrated Creatures. An elementary book a bookmark in this uncharmingly alliterative, alliterative tome brings attention to one particular page. The Hollyfant, a most mild-mannered mastodon. This rare to find, dear reader, a creature of such benevolent countenance as the noble Hollyfant. The only wrinkle with the fine beast I have found is, is upon its leathery hide. On the topic of the wrinkled skin, other angelic forms in Mount Celestia are gigantic, so mayhap, mayhaps this skin will tighten when the Hollyfant in gorgeous and celestial size. Ah, uh, tis but an errand wandering. Whilst conversing with one of their breed, Lulu, 
I learned that the Holyfant averts its wants the Holyfant averts its wants from mortal vice at all costs and has an indefat Jesus <laughs> indefatigably beyond <laughs> whatever that means and she review of the mortal planes i could not bring myself to quash these imaginings of our well a realm and only hope we one day rise to this creature's conception of our kind i'm just gonna read everything here because we read everything this doesn't seem like it's, it's much help military combat manual many would ask how the open hand to temple should respond to acts of violence against our persons well it is a most sticky conundrum. We must rely on the gifts granted to us by our suffering god, that of curative miracles. As long as you can solve yourself, your fellow congregants, or even the wayward minds of your vicious assailants, that must be your approach. For we are not to inflict suffering, only to alleviate it. Besides, there is always nearby flaming fist to handle that sort of distasteful thing. Hopefully. Uh, Credo of the Rack Stricken Lord. Oh damn, oh my god. Strap in my guys, there's a bunch of reading here. Lord on the rack, weep for us, for we are weak and you endure. Let your heavy tears fall and let us wince on the salt as we sup. Shoulder our pain, we beg you, as we solve others gathered here. Uh, gathered near, cry agony, and we shall gift your words to souls that need them most. Saravok Anshif, a study in suffering. A transcription of a sermon given in Baldur's Gate in 1368 DR. Baal can teach us about suffering. Please hold your gasps, patient flock. I assure you there's a point to this unorthodox subject matter. I'm sure you've heard the gathering of rumors about the recently disposed Grand Duke-elect Saravok Anshiv. They are true. He engineered the sickness within our nation's iron. He slaughtered Duke Elton and yes, he nearly set Baldur's Gate and Am into a full-throated war against each other. All this for one whose name you should know with fear but nary speak, Baal, a murder most complete. This is why our work's important, you noble tormented. Suffering must be balanced, alleviated. We must bear its lashings on our shoulders when we can. For if we do not, our lord on the rack's enemies will press upon it and allow its weight to tip and crush the world as we know it into bloody pulp. These are the stakes, my suffering lambs. This is the rod our backs must bear. Uh, so we know that these guys don't fight back. Um, Baldur's mouth. Uh, I, how do I? Oh yeah. Oh my god. Uh, cool. <laughs> uh, Baldur's mouth. Edward Needle is the editor in chief. This costs two gold. Calls to ban refugee help in Rivington from this guy. Sure. Refugee allegedly slaughters benevolent father, father Morgan, Inspector Valeria to investigate. Armies of the Absolute massing around Moonrise Towers. Feywild Circus appears in the middle of Rivington. Shunning. Upper city closed off. Not a good look. The first recruits. Only you can protect Baldur's Gate. Of course. <laughs> ah. Seeding discontent by blaming shit on, uh, on refugees that are here because of this religion that probably is uh, supported by the guys that own this media piece here and uh, uh, we need to recruit people I see I see I see Charesses Caresses deal Luskin lap dance two for one Ooh, with ostrich plumes let's see if we can get a Luskin lap dance <laughs> on the matter of soups and starvation I implore you Rector Yanis Father Lorgan to restore I implore you, Rector Lannis, Father Lorgan, to restore your temple's most wonderful soup kitchen to our encampment. My precious baby loved the aptly named Meat Slop <laughs> you just served. Even if other graceful souls here turned up their noses, I can only sacrifice my own meager rations in his name for so long. Yours faithfully, Fortuno Dibs. The Triad of Children This light read for younger worshippers opens in the following adage. On the first day, Tyr saw the world's injustice, though his eyes were blind. On the second day, Torm was slain and returned to serve the church. On the third day, Ulmada wept for all that came before and all that was to come. Behold protection's future, the Steel Watch. We heard about that. 
the age of the steel watch approaches. The immutable logic and impeccable judgment of complex machinery will pass law without fault or without hesitation. Sure, why must we risk the lives of those brave enough to accept the mantle of city guard in the fray with common thugs? Moreover, we must risk the li why must we risk the liberty of citizens at the mercy of the vice and caprice of others who take this mantle for ill? Worry no longer as the steel watch automatons take to the streets. Jesus Christ. Uh, maximum sus levels. Uh, are we allowed to go through this water? I guess we are. So, uh, where is the uh, the crime scene? Infirmary, justice endures even in suffering. Yes, we can talk to this asshole. Oh, it's Father Logan. <laughs> what? Why is he still here? Uh, okay, let's just talk to her. Sister Rose the Penitent. What ails you? Marsh fever? Feather lung? Be quick, I've not got all day. I'm looking at the Lorgan's death. I need to ask you some questions. Do I look diseased to <laughs> you? I'm undergoing delayed illithid seromorphosis. <laughs> just, just put that out there. Um, I'm looking into his death. What do you want to know? Who do you think killed Father Lorgan? How did he die? How badly wounded heart was he? You don't seem that sad about his death. Um, how did he die? Slowly. Lorgan was a good man, if naive. He deserved better. One of the refugees killed him. Cruelly, too. They cut off his hand, sawed right through the bone. I found a paralytic poison on one of his wounds. Logan was alive while they took the hand. He just couldn't scream. It's sick. We give them everything, and all we get is nothing but a good man to bury. This can't be all, right? Please, leave me be. Oh, wow. Good thing we decided for that. Um, I'm not going to talk to him now, because he will have the most valuable answers, and we need the most valuable questions. And as of now, we don't have much input. Uh, apart from, apparently, he was, like, poisoned or drugged, and they took off his hand while he was still alive. Um, so there must be a re reason why this happened, right? Um, so we are not going to talk to him immediately. We have to find out new shit. Uh, portrait of the snowy brown beard. We can't look at it. Yeah, we can. All right. Uh, Encyclopedia Apothecary by Sandra Tolliar. Oh. Oh, immediately opens up on a, on a paralysis page, huh? One particular page's corner in this curative tome is more dog eared than the rest. Arcane paralysis. Common sources. Suckling on fizz tree blossom. Deep monastic meditation. Curious mean locks. Miscellaneous potions. Karabazan's gift. A, a gift. A co cool extract, etc. In curious mean locks. Curative, cur curative solutions. Healing abjurations. Lesser restoration. Restorative, restorative elixirs, general antidotes, remedial potions. Let's see if this uh, gets important. An end to suffering. The selection of rites for the dead and dying adorn this manuscript. Let the light of perpetual toleration guide your servant's wretched form to peace. In bloodied mercy, hear my prayer. Our most ardent petitions bring this soul before your tear-scorched eyes, Lord. Blink and let it pass into reverie. The poison drained, the sickness quelled. As I deliver this body from what which, uh, which ailed it, I render its soul unto your care. Unfortunately, we are not allowed to look at books inside of this bookshelf. Um, so we won't. Um, I am kind of tempted to um, look into her, um, her inventory. Because she seems a little bit sus to me. Maybe she's got, like, paralysis shit on her. To be cautious. Rosa's chest key. Oh, we don't need that. We can open chest by ourselves. 
so we don't have the yoink stuff. Um, this leads out where we actually opened up this gate earlier. And by earlier, I mean yesterday. But Infirmary. Justice endures even in suffering. Okay, this leads up to the tower. Roll up sack with a bunch of apples. Sure, let's go to the tower. Why do they have rotten food in this tower? Ooh, it's a nest. Burnished necklace. Uh, let's cast speech to animals. We don't have to. Um, I kind of suspect if we pick this up that there's a bird going to be going to come here and tell us, "Hey, why the fuck are you stealing my shit?" Maybe not. Burnished necklace. This deep emerald, uh, the deep emerald stones on this chain sparkle like Eldraf's eyes. Nothing else. Bell. Was there a sound missing? <laughs> Seemed like there should have been sound. Uh, Tresum? Is that a cat? Fuck, how do we get there? Is there another way up here? Yeah, through here, right? It seems like these could be doors. Well, there definitely would be a way down, but... Even this far down would hurt us a bunch. So let's see if we can find another way up on this roof. Talk to this. Ooh, cat birdie. Race Tresson, monstrosity. Are there like rafters that we can get onto? I don't think so. Okay, this is the kitchen again, right? Kitchen. Uh huh. Visitors kindly. This is where we met that first homie. Let's hope we can talk to him once more. Oh, hi. So I guess we just walked right past the kill zone, huh? Look, I need to finish up here. Lots of soup to clean up. Blood, too. Okay. I found this key in the cellar. Any, any idea what it opens? I found intruders in the tunnels. It got messy. Uh, let's talk about the key. Looks like a room key, maybe? Nothing in here, that's for sure. Look, I need to finish up here. Oh, good. More blood to clean up, I suppose. It's all seem fishy. Free for the taking. Don't want to draw any attention. Can you stand still? I know I could just enter this mode, so I will. My hands lift. Donic's chest key, graveyard door key. We don't need any of those, so we can. Any other books in here? Not really. This leads out, right? Yeah, it does. Maybe we can find some animals to talk to. Have to keep going. We can actually have a look at these now. Because there's no one here to spot us. But we're not gonna yoink shit. But we're gonna take this balsam up. So this is just a fireplace, huh? Okay. So cool that this game just turned into investigation mode. <laughs> oh, this stays inside. 
Oh yeah, this room. We, we saw this room. Uh, well, if there's no one here, we're gonna have a look inside of these chests, cause you know, hints and stuff. Uh, but first, let's make sure that <laughs> there's no one here. Um, there isn't. All right, investigation That's mode on. Uh, what did I pick up? No, we don't need this. We don't. We need this. Gold, a hat, a quill. Only nonsense. It's harder. Still nothing. This chest is deeper than it looks. A double bottom, of course. Damn! Confessions Volume 1, Father Lorgan. Get yoinkied. The most recent entry in this journal bears particularly heavy quill marks and crossed through revisions. I penned this from the temple cellar. The only place I feel close to the Ilmada's will anymore. I pass my gaze between the crests, crests that hide my sin apparent, and I wonder, who are they to pass any judgment? They bark that those who arrive on our doorsteps, bloodied, beaten, fleeing from heretical hordes, are dirty, unwelcome, to be shunned. That it is a crime to house them, to bring them into the city proper, but if my back must be broken so others may step to the light, so be it. Is this from Logan himself? Pugilist gloves, an angel clocker knuckles. Your unarmed attacks deal an additional four to four radiant dam radiant damage. Kind of cool. We won't yoink him because we got better gloves. Um, let's see what that update actually did. We learned from a what? Solve the open hand temple murders. Okay, let's start from the from the from the uh, from the bottom here. Gather information about the murders. We learned that Father Lorgan was frozen in place by some sort of paralytic poison before he died. You should keep looking for evidence. Sister Rose told us that Father Lorgan's corpse was missing a hand, cut off before he died. You should keep looking for more information. We've been asked to look into the deaths of Father Lorgan and Brilgor at the Open Hand Temple. Sister Yanis, the temple's director, believes Brilgor, uh, Brilgor has been blamed for the crime too hastily by investigator Valeria. By speaking with the dead, we learned that a dwarf clad in red killed both Father Lorgan and Brilgor. We need heart. Right. Oh my god. See? Uh, this, this is what I uh, meant when I said goldfish brain. Yeah, he, 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 we, we noted. Yeah, he told us that. We need hard proof to exonerate Brilgor, however, and should check out the murder scene. Find the crime scene. We learned that Father Lorgan uses the temple crypt to hide imperiled refugees. We should examine the crypt to learn more. Okay, this is what we found earlier. Investigate the crime scene. We discovered the name of Father Lorgan's killer, Dolor. A name alone will not be enough to exonerate Bilgor or Brilgor, however. Find the lock to fit the flower key. One of the doppelganger assassins underneath the open hand temple had a strange flowery key. We should find what it opens. Investigate Frego's flop house and find out and find a use for the flower key. We learned from a dead doppelganger assassin that the flowery key we found unlocks something in a flop house. Something that will that will reveal Dolor's secrets. I have no idea what a flop house is, so let me Google that. Flop house. A flop house in American English or DOS house is a place that offers very low cost lodging, providing space to sleep and minimal amenities. Alright. So a shack, I guess. Uh, cool. Kind of weird. I feel like we. Like a little bit. Sorry, I have to switch this once more. There we go. Um, uh, 
that we shit the bed a little bit by going through the back door because we like started this investigation from the middle um prayers of repent Uh, uh, a book full of furtive prayers for forgiveness to the crying God. It smells musty, as if kept underground for a long time. Lord of matter, I beseech you, look upon me and behold my sin. Let it stand before your infinite patience and balk in its presence. For while I am weak, you stand mighty. Let me be absolved before your weeping majesty, that I may cleanly bear the burden of others in your name. My knees may stagger, my bones may break, my will may, may fracture, but my faith stands strong in your shoulders, Lord, if you will let it. Register of Temple Dead Speakers. Oh. A death will often cause or in turn be caused by an imbalance of suffering. On such occasions, a priest must commune with the spirit to see if they can address their imbalance. Please list your trained Temple Dead Speakers below. Dead Speakers of the Open Hand Temple. Lash Bearer Katrine, Left Temple. Sister Clarvin, deceased. Father Lorgan, deceased. At the bottom of the page, there is a handwritten annotation. Apply for dead speaker training at earliest opportunity. Can't have none at next temple inspection. Why? Why? Who does why? Uh, easy furniture DIY. A practical guide to furniture building. The false bottom chest. Now, this false bottom ain't an illusory, illusory glamour, but a surefire way of stopping your most precious belongings becoming someone else's. <laughs> no, they don't. Prying kids, snooping house guests, or even overzealous city watchmen will all be stumped by this simple trick. Construct chest, see Build in Bits Volume 2 for more instructions. Cut some wood to the dimensions of your chest's internal base. Make sure to match the grain and hue. Nail in some wine corks to the original base. Punch a wee hole in the new bottom. Drop the new bottom into the chest. If you need to move the false bottom, lose a long bent nail to lift it out and peruse the goodies as you please. The well-tended garden. A non-denominational guide to gardening for faithful folk. Whomever you pop your per prayers toward, everyone needs healing and you can't afford a blessing or miracle for every scraped knee. That's where the most holy art of planting shrubs comes in. What to grow? Healing. Rogue's morsel. Best grown in the dark and dusk. You can't even plant these in cellars. Amazing. Balsam. A spindly flower that takes well to, well to tall and chilly climbs. Yellow musk creeper. Now these ones are a tad difficult. They do feed on human corpses, which doesn't fit in with an awful lot of face. But think about it. Really cuts down on graveyard space. What to grow? Poisons. Mugwort. This, starves, this stuff cures any poison when refined right, but it does smell awful powerful. Uh, sm oh, smell, yeah. Stink out a whole temple, this will. Short visit from Yoda, huh? Meditations Volume 1, Father Lorgan. This record, penned by Rector Yanis, consolidates various sermons of Father Lorgan, High Priest of the Open Hand Temple. I guess this Yanis is the... The why from the fir from the first book or the book before. Do not, brethren, mistake the wonders of gathered society for the decrees of those atop it. It is the duty of a faithful tormented. It is your duty to know when these decrees beget unjust suffering. It is an easy duty. It is a duty that will scar your hands from carrying it, as it would as it well should. We must at all times recall a central fact: to suffer is not holy. To suffer is a consequence of who of holy duty made practice. Ilmada does not enjoy this pain, my friends. He endures it because it is just. Our own pain is an acceptable price to pay, but it, but it is not a good, in, a good in itself. Some may ask of you, if you are loved by your God, why does he allow you to suffer? Why does he allow anyone to suffer? The question is strong rhetoric, but it has an, uh, but it has an answer. One cannot be healed without first being hurt. One cannot truly know joy without knowing its absence. But to live a life full of absence, full of suffering, would be to know only one thing. We enact balance in the name of the Lord, uh, Lord on the rack, for it is right and it is just. <sighs> We're not going to yoink. <laughs> uh, the Most Holy Sermons of Lashbearer Katrine. The collected sermons of Lashbearer Katrine, commissioned on her ascension from open hand temple high priest to the house of the broken gods revered mistress. 
O pity is tormented, we live in wretched times. So eager is our populace to back succor from the city's teat, and so readily is such succor available, that our broken god is sel seldom lamented to. The weeping of the fetid masters, masses should fall righteously onto the blood-burned ears of Ilmada, not into the hands of useless bureaucrats. A query often met on the tongue of Ilmada's loyal wretches is thus, Who does he bid us aid? How must we aid them? The answer is simple. We must give the, these sordid souls the tools to aid themselves. A working knowledge of the Ilmatari creeds, unless these unfortunates know to channel their suffering towards the crying god, how is he supposed to intercede for them? Think, about this, uh, think upon these words, my children. And Memories Volume 1, Sister Clarwin. This book details the path and, with, in, in, uh, the path and faith of one Shira Clarwin. Moving from the light is how he always phrased it, which I thought was a bit much. A ray of morning light dims this day, he would insist. I just can't really see it in the same way. I can comfort. I can listen. I can heal. Of course, my talents are best suited in worship of a matter. I have no ill will towards the, towards the morning lord, indeed. I think a shaft of his light will always shine in my heart. I worry, too. There's something that glimmers in Pa's eyes when he talks about the light, and it's not something I like. I alight to Baldur's Gate next Tendi, to the Open Hand Temple. Maybe they'll know what ails him. Mm -hmm. Let's okay. check out these racks in case there's a book there which we could read. Uh, Exile. Uh huh. We just take these that we haven't read before. Oh, there's something else. Divine Rapture of Ill Matter. The faded text and battered parchment of this Ixinan ma manuscript date back to 4th century DR. And lo, he walked among us. But of but a for brief and brilliant moment, the crying god wept upon our earth with the tears of a most fortunate faithful. He took the cur of Gehenna, this most defiled creature of murder, and held it in his immutable embrace. In his most perfect, perfect knowing, he walked with it into the sea of fallen stars. The cur clawed and screamed and ripped and tore, but he broke no, no quarter. And when the sea ran red with the blood of the divine, the wailing and gnashing ceased. The creature was dead. No trace of his commanded faithful remained, save for a humble iron helm, which washed ashore with, a nary, with nary a scratch or sea rust about it. Uh, we picked up Exile. The author of Gnome Father, Father also penned this book. A much bleaker read, Exile, is full of sections like this. And with his stony features wrinkling in a snarl, Ledugur, god of the Duega, growled. You hounds and dribbling dogs, I shall have you flayed. I shall string lutes from your guts. What a music hall fill, what a music shall fill my halls then. Hear me close, you mongrels and slobberers. Slavery is freedom. Freedom from difficult choice and from responsibility. When you enslave an elf, you chain him into a bit of use, the simpering knife-eared slug. You make him worth a damn. Now, throttle that morality of yours and fetch me vassals. It's full of sections like this. And with his stony features wrinkling in a snarl, Ladugur, god of Duega, growled. You hounds and dribbling dogs. This is the same. And, and again. <laughs> sure. And Elistrae, Lady Silverhair. Sparing no detail, no matter how innocuous, this tale grants the reader comprehensive insight into the life, death and rebirth of the child of Loth and Corellon, Lerathian, the goddess Elistrae. One section runs thusly. An important note, immortals like Elistrae view relationships, relationships different than we do. The gaze is cold, abstracted even in the most passionate and vivacious of gods such as she. Think of Telemann's theater of distance. The viewer is somehow allowed space from the action of the play while still being immersed in the experience. That is how deities think. That is how they view everything in an auditorium of icy long infinity in the nosebleed, in nosebleed seats. No wonder Elistray smiled and wept with equal fierceness when she defeated her mother. Um... So I think the next place we have to go to is maybe back into this, um, to the murder scene. Although I don't think we've 
we'll find much more there. Let's check out this place. Maybe there's some hidden shit here. We haven't uh, actually taken a look at these cupboards. Okay, we still want to find a way to get up to the roof. And it's not impossible to just teleport there. Bunk bed. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Is there no way, <clears throat> no way up? Damn. Bunch of reading, huh? Hmm. I mean, we can teleport. Uh, important thing is that... No, it's not even important that Will teleports, because we can do that and use a talk to animals scroll. Um, although... Sharp as ever. He still has two spell slots left, so he could go two. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Mm. So I think we're going to pick up Will and let him talk to that um, flying cat thing. <clears throat> Why is he grunting like that? <laughs> it's a ladder, my guy. <laughs> this wing cat thing must be Gales. Say word. Um. The Tresson guards a shiny ring and stack of letters at its feet. What are you doing here, kitty? Quite a nice ring you have there. Well, what are you going to do with it? From the look of those ladders, one might guess you were responsible for the post house's missing pigeons. What are you doing here, kitty? Kitty? How vulgar. You can call me. Actually, it's better if you don't call me at all. That'll be all, thank you. No, 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 no. Quite a nice ring you have there, no, from the look of those ladders. One needn't guess. Pigeon meat is my second favorite. Oh shit, what's the first? Those uh, those ladders are important. You shouldn't be eating their messengers. If pigeon is your second favorite, what's your first? Uh-huh. Beholder. But it's exceedingly rare to come by. Beholder. Uh, but let's not get bogged down in semantics. I believe you were just leaving, weren't you? Ta! Should we bring Gale here? Uh, intimidation. No, leave these pigeons be or I lead you. I'm not leaving till you agree to stop hunting these pigeons. There's a much better aviary across town if you've already picked over the choice cuts here. Enjoy your feast. <laughs> I'll be eating you. Uh, I don't want this thing to leave. He says it's connected to Gale somehow and... I've seen some uh, um, artwork that included a cat with Gale. Is this Gale's cat? Enjoy your feast. Thank you. I most certainly will. When I've had my fill of the local fair, I may look for more interesting pastures. There are a few places in the city I'd like to visit. I might have sussed some interesting items. I'd rather like to get my paws upon. Mm. If I find anything interesting, I might even be willing to barter. Might. ta -ra. Away. What? It just leaves? I actually wanted to keep it here. Uh, but you know. It's got your tongue. Inspired. Where's the ring? Did you pick it up? 
Bundle of letters. Oh, wow. Uh, a, a concerned citizen tries to clarify his, his economic situation so that they are taxed accordingly. It's a nightmare of epic proportion that would make an accountant cry. <laughs> His lengthy letter from a Baldurian patriarch to an unknown correspondent. It describes in those uncertain terms how both parties could profit from a war. Postmaster shipment inquiry. For the special and direct attention of Roa Moon Glow only. Look, Roa, you city Zent have always been consumer professionals to me, so I don't understand why the Joaquin's rest cell is so useless. I was supposed to receive several items from them a few days ago, but have heard absolutely nothing. Could you put out some feelers? Zeris doesn't answer my correspondence anymore. Danzo. Yeah, we kinda fucked them up, huh? <laughs> um, okay. I think if we drop down from here, we wouldn't get hurt, right? Just go here. Two HP. Well, it's okay. Still alive, so that's pretty um. Okay. So we got some information now. Anything of use? Might even be useful to talk to Father Lorgan. Maybe we can talk to the other people here once more, since now we found out some stuff. Very well. Please leave me be. Maybe they won't let us. So we're looking for Dolor, and he is a a, a red dwarf or something like that. Okay, nothing else here. Wait, let's, what was that inspiration? Carlag, right? Uh, find the missing ladders. Okay, maybe this is important at one point. How goes the search? Tell Yanis what you found so far. I'm still looking. Any advice on where to begin? What do I need to prove Burgor's innocence? Uh huh. Valeria never found the murder weapon. That would be definitive proof that they missed something. Where are the bodies? Logan's in the room behind us. With Sister Rose. Brilgor's buried out back through the kitchen and the dormitories. He is? Oh, wow. Tell her what we found. Assassins under this temple is certainly unnerving news. Thank you for taking care of them. You're on the right track. Please keep looking. Okay, so we will talk to Brilgor. Um, apparently, he's buried out back. I hope this isn't his grave. <laughs> To not be cursed. Nalo Essi. Grief and illness lay Geshan Kirkaros. Built the OBE Garden Sen. Gave her life protecting. Nothing here looks fresh. Alvin Muffle Fieldwick. Millie Runbarrel. Killed by the cult unknown child and her dog, who stood oh, watch this year. over her grave. May they be Brilgore fell to anger and rage taking father Logan with him may ill mate her forgive him I guess we are grave robbers um. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Loot. Uh, so we have to do this. Oh God. No time to dally. Jesus. Imagine dying by being killed by some disgusting as shapeshifters and this is what awaits you. Uh, are you Burgor? What a stupid... Oh, fuck. Is it a stupid question? Oh, shit. How did you die? Who killed you? Where did you die? Were you alone when you died? Why, why was he helping you? Why was he helping you? Are you Burgor? Yes. Fuck. Fucked up that question, huh? Did you kill Father Lorgan? We know that he didn't. Um... How did you die? Who killed you? Where did you die? I guess this means Father Logan was helping him. Let's see. Um, how did you die? Once. Paralyzed. Why was he helping this you? After me. Needed to hide. Okay. I assume this means Father Lorgan. Where did you die? Who killed you? Where did you die? Tunnels beneath temple. Hidden from sight. Who killed you? Dwarf. Uh -huh. Red clothes. Stranger. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Okay. Well, the death. Not as bad as it could have. Defender of the people. So, can we dig that back up, uh, back in? We can't, so, yeah. Still breathing, despite everything. <laughs> can we put it in here? Oh, no, this is for Logan, right? Swift as my feet can carry me. Um, okay, I... Do we suspect that there's going to be new information? Oh, hi. Investigate Frego's flop house and find a use for the flower key. And this is Charessa's caress here, this whole thing. So... Ooh, so because curious. We have to go here because these probably look are looking for the uh, ladders that the cat stole. Um... Do we suspect that there is going to be more information down in the tunnels now? I kind of don't think so, but I guess we'll have to take a look to make sure. Oh, wait, there's a faster way down there, right? We don't have to jump through all these hoops to get there. Wasn't there here, down this? And we can actually cover the other half once. But it's going to take some time trying to get there. Meanwhile, Ravengard, I think. we enjoy the view. I heard he's a good man. Oh, well, so this is Charest's caress in this big Please, wooden structure. If you could just... We have the Duke's full support for the good of the people. The Duke, huh? Mm hmm. Oh, they are here. Maybe I need more pockets. No, we got space. This 
base is trapped. Good to know. Oof. Come on, open up. <laughs> sure. No. What the hell? Um, is it destroyed? <laughs> Why did we unlock it then? Oh, yeah. Pick up this. <laughs> Just randomly pick up other shit. I couldn't get that. Well, I'm gonna get this. We can't get that? Oh, wow. Terrible. So, this is a great place to save because I haven't before and now I regret it. But we fucked up. Um, I know that we have to go the other way. Oh, wow. Fresh corpse. Um, but... This seems juicy. No, no, no. Let's go the other way first. Um, this looks like it could continue this whole quest. Ooh, heavy chest. So we see the absolute is involved as usual. But there's nothing else here. And I guess we can't talk to them while they are dead now. So Yeah, there's nothing new here. This would have just been the place that we find these um, shapeshifters at. So let's go back out. And I think we're going to take that, um, that path. Mm, down, the, down the beach. See if we can find something else. Uh, when we first entered here, uh, we suspected that this might be the place... Uh, where we find the, the vampire spawn that Asterion was talking about. Since, you know, it's a cave. Maybe they are over here. Fresh corpse. Trap. Time to dance. Blast mine. Uh -oh. 
Oh shit. Nice. Will, you've got the perception skills. Oh wow, failed. Just avoid that trap. I guess we already avoided it. No, okay. Be wary. This place is trapped. Sure. Watch sure. <laughs> Watch how you go. There's a trap. Oh, what the hell? Place is trapped. Wait, what? What is this? I guess they noticed the broken things. All right. Oh, hi. Dying Stone Lord Thug. Viscera Severed Arm. Is oh, this uh, Lorgan's arm? Blood is still slowly trickling down this arm's severed fingers. Let's see. Maybe it's uh, uh, the clown's arm. For this world. Who is your boss? What happened here? Turn and help him and his suffering. Who is your boss? Stone Lord. He'll saw this. He'll get him. You hear the blood gurgle in his struggling lungs. His last ounce of strength is spent. So we ask the completely stupid question, huh? Man, we need to make better decisions. Holy. And we can't cast speak to dead with these people, right? The corpse from here. No. Huh, weird. I've got a long road ahead. Well. Never wanted the easy path. There's someone else here that we can't loot. Ah. Mm-hmm. They're gonna. Oh. There's trip wires here. Trap. Sharp as ever. Will, could you please notice this? Um. God damn it, he can't. All right. So we separate. No, not you. At least things have stayed interesting. Because we should be able to jump up there with our cool monk skills. bunch of trip wires here but they shouldn't be as hard to, to destroy once we notice them trap be cautious still 15 oh god Slowly taking all the damage. Holy. Okay. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Wet. Oh shit. How is this wet? Why is this wet? Because of the steam cloud? A trap. Time to dance. Please work. I mean, we could just jump over it, but you know. I don't want to use these. This 
see. <laughs> Is this a grove? This is Shadow Curse shit, right? Decapitated, but still warm. What? Where? Who? This one? Recent corpse. Severed arm. Got two of those now. <laughs> Wasn't there? You no, know, looked like there might be a way in there somewhere. Will this fall? Oh, damn, saving. That same ship was at Moonrise Towers, if I'm not mistaken. Mmm, Xantarium shit. We've killed a lot, so you so far. Oh, Santa made us, so <laughs> let's say hello. Uh, but I think we need healing some more. What's next, I wonder? Will still has this short rest thingy. I'm ready. Never a dull moment. Um, but I think we're gonna use this here. No one back home will ever believe this. Let's see if this is enough. I suspect that they will fight us immediately because we made enemies of them. Looks like those two are about to fight. Yeah, what's going on? Nobody messes with the Stone Lord rattling. Nine Fingers sends her love, asshole. Your Stone Lord's a dead man walking. You help me kill these asses. The guild will sprinkle you with gold. What will? <clears throat> I could go for some spoils. I'm in. This Stone Lord sounds like a better bet. I'd rather not get involved in whatever this is. I think I'll just kill both of you and take everything. Can we just all get along? Must be a really fight. I don't even know who this is. Farlin. I think I'm gonna go for... I'm not getting involved because I don't know anything about these. Too late, cook. Oh. Nobody but us leaves this place alive. We got bug bludgeon. Bug bludgeon? <laughs> so, charming lantern. Humanoid. Who is this? Who are these people? This is one of the stone lords here. The, the other stone lords look like this. Um. Sure. <laughs> So we hate these people now, huh? I don't know who these are. 104. What the hell? Here, get smashed, motherfucker. Trident. Uh, I think I'm gonna... Make this guy weak to bludgeoning, so we can't take him out early. Bitch. Okay, it's Will's turn and it's Will's turn alone, so... Big bazonka zonk? I think we are gonna go for Big Bazonka Zong. Is there anything crazily valuable here? Doesn't look like it, it like there is. So, will my guy get up here? No so you're a little bit higher than them. And 
Give me the schmackening. Wait, what? Path is interrupted. How was it interrupted? Huh? How was it interrupted? We see a maximum range. Is this, is this a stone pillar? No, it's not. <laughs> okay, sure. Nice interrupted path. So I guess we just go... ba 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 bum Weird. The guild owns this city. I think the guild are the people that tried to scam us uh, when we talked that noble asshole into leaving the refugees alone. Get... Oh, shit. No. Here, like this, and this, and in here, and bonk this motherfucker. <laughs> To death. Focus to him, huh? <laughs> hmm. He's the one that just did that whole gabonk along, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so. Let's do this. So he's. Gets, uh, we can easier attack him, and I think we just go for this again and just engage him a little bit. Did he heal our enemy? Good shit. Well played. Um. Get maimed. Oh, how did she take this little damage? What the fuck? What the hell? Huh. Weird. You can go rage mode as well. We do so little damage to these guys. What the hell? Uh, let's go. Eldritch Blast. And here, Karlak. Where is she? Here is she. Oh my god. Alright, take out this guy. Ugh. We don't get him. Shit. Didn't want to spend key points. I don't even know why. Deflect that shit. And in his face. Bam! How you like that, bitch? Oh! This guy sucks, huh? We need to get back. Ha! 
How is she hitting me? What the hell? In position. She even gets an opportunity attack? What the hell? She's 11 meters away. Okay, so uh, we used to have a stun, but we don't anymore because we've switched, we've switched weapons. So let's go massive bonk on this asshole and miss, of course. I don't know if that trident is actually good. Maybe it's better to switch back to the other weapon and use it whenever it's actually good. Through its conditions or whatever. Um, guess we just do this. And here's Shadow Heart. What? We can make it to this guy, so we will. Alright, get stunned. I said stunned. Nice. Is crazy. We actually should make sure that one of these guys survives so they can tell of our glorious feats. to try to slink away rather than get involved they would know well we kind of did of the guild <laughs> oh man we need to remove this fucking clown makeup i don't particularly want gratitude from criminals happy to help who did we just kill mm -hmm. a new flavor of scum that's been muscling in on oh, our business no. agents of the stone lord I heard the Stone Lord's name from a dying man. Who is he? He's a newcomer to our delightful underworld. And he doesn't play nice with others. So, absolute shit? What were his agents doing here? Surely he can't stand he can't stand against the guild. I reckon I deserve a reward. Where uh, what were his agents doing here? I think the Stone Lord and his cronies are in league with the absolute cultists. See? This little operation here certainly suggests so. They were shifting something valuable by boat. But that something belongs to the guild now. Is it gonna be tadpoles? I deserve a little something for your helping you. I'd, I'll leave you to your spoils then. Goodbye. Wrong. It belongs to me. We're gonna go for the second one because this is what we always pick. Uh, maybe we should pick the Spear of uh, Night back up, huh? <laughs> Seems kind of valuable. We'll can do this. Corpse grinder. Weapon enchantment plus two. Main hand only. Tenacity. When you miss an attack, you do a bludgeoning anyway. 8 to 21. This is actually really good. Uh, do not fail. Uh, this seems very good on Karlak. No traps, please. Well, they probably don't like that, huh? But, you know, I don't care. These are criminals. Criminals get robbed. Mind fly a parasite specimen. There we go. Hmm. 
Wish I had a bag of holding. Fossilized shell. Sure. Scrap and shrapnel grenade. Even more parasites. Um, so this can immediately go to Karlak and do not fail. The guild has caught wind of our activities down by the river. The stone lord has personally requested that you see off any visitors. I have heard mur murmurings that your dockside crew begin to doubt the tales around the stone lord's capabilities. Keep our shipment secure and he will not need to come down in person and make a demonstration. A noted ship's manifest. A ship's manifest. Amidst the mundane goods, a specific unit of crates has been circled with a note pinned on top. Reminder, the Stone Lord's goods. We don't need to see the man to know he's serious about his property. If you attempted to crack a crate and take a look, remember Norin and the wide-eyed loons who came to take him away last time out. I didn't raise a finger to stop those gods mad bastards and I won't for you either. Now. Jeez. You're welcome. I need a quick Who's this? Looks cool. Not now. Oh, okay. What's inside? Um, okay. There's probably something up here as well. This looks like a cave. Uh-huh. Passageway. Does this lead to the guild? Let's go down this passageway. Seems simple enough. I assume this leads to the uh, to the guild. I thought this would be Zentarum here, because I think the uh, shipment that we found at the Moonrise Tower was from uh, Zentarum. No to Kairos, boss. I found this out here on this poor. Sh uh, I found this out here on a poor schmuck. This isn't from the stash. I'm not Van. I know the rules. Polished necklace. It is said that wearing a ruby near the heart will increase a lover's courage. Spicy porky sausage. Take everything, fuck you guys. <laughs> Don't know where we hit that, but we did. Watch out, there's a trap. Damn, barely, holy. Ooh, bone spike, uh, bone spike boots. Evasive instinct. You have a plus one bonus to armor class and saving throws as long as you're not wearing armor or holding a shield. Nice. And what are we wearing at the moment? Experienced and deadly. The wearer deals additional damage equal to the wisdom modifier. This is also extremely good. Don't mind me. I'm the yoinker here, especially from criminals. <laughs> C 
Smuggler's Manifesto. The rules. Don't forget. Stick to the Sword Coast if you don't want to trigger an all-out war and draw attention to the higher-ups of the council. No backstabbing, no ratting, no stealing from others. You get what you're given, no skimming off the top. Trust that you'll get your share. Highest value goods come first. Don't go shuffling bread if there's a jewel rush. We're not a bakery. Keep the camp tidy. We don't want anyone following a trail of gold back to us. Tell no one. A map pointing to a secret breach in the wall of Worms Rock Fortress. It looks like it could lead to the prison and free from there. And, and from there, the inside of the fortress itself. Damn, cool. Is this marked on the map now? Another ball. We pick them all up. I kind of suspect that these people will attack us now, but maybe they won't. If they do, let's pick up these. And these are actually kind of cool. But more damage through the wisdom modifier seems pretty strong. Uh, this increases jump distance and also brutal leap. Leap at a target and possibly knock it prone. Damn, also pretty cool. But we don't need this bonus action. Um... Evasive Instinct, plus one bonus to armor class and saving throws. That's pretty good, man. How they look? How do they look? Sure. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Got 16 of those. I don't want to use them. And I won't force anyone else here to use them. We forced Will before. We could have a look at his... Um, skill tree. Uh-oh. Gameru Crashu. Mm-hmm. It happens, it happens. Bear with me. We had that once before, um, game crashes while quick saving and moving somewhere, so nothing exactly new. Be great as Steam would like <laughs> reactivate. Can I do this? I can't. Oh god. Ah. So, Steam, come on. I don't want to restart, come on. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, maybe this turns into a restart, which uh, for my VOD homies, homies, this doesn't concern you all that much because it will just pick up whenever I send information back. So yeah, time to restart. So we go here and we go... Uh, <laughs> We go AFK. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna be back in a second. Um, there's gonna be a timestamp uh, uh, skipping this. I'm sorry for that shit. See you soon.
We back, sorry about that. Uh, sometimes you just have to restart your PC to get things going again. But let's just jump right back into the game by Lamp and Dunk Harley and turn on the turn up the music again. Or the in-game sounds again. We um the the save still works. The quick save, it just uh, gets stuck. So we uh haven't lost anything here. Let's just continue. Um ba -ba -ba. and let's see if these people hate us now because we stole their shit. I guess they don't care. So we don't actually have to walk back, right? We can just teleport. Um, it's interesting that we haven't found many teleports, by the way. And by many, I mean we only have found one. <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna... Because I don't want to pass these, um... Wait, no, the the traps are gone. We can just go here. Guess this uh, is a, may, might be a little bit faster. Right there, they are gone. So I think the next thing we do will be to uh, uh this the wrong area. What's this? Why does it look like this? Doesn't that normally indicate that this is on the same level that we are at? There were other people on the beach, um, on the opposite side. Okay, we haven't been here, I think. you get there because this is up top um, and how do you get there let's see see this shows some area this is where we entered inside of the um inside of that cave maybe it's uh inside of Sharessa's caress um maybe it's just just is like bottom floor Sharessa's caress maybe there's like hidden stuff inside and we can't actually get there from this uh point here, What's here? but uh sorry nonetheless there is more stuff back here which i also don't know how to get to do we just walk here heroics don't leave half enough time for messing messing can't jump over there because i don't think there is a way through here And this is where we exited, I think, um, after going inside of that um, um, that well yesterday. Maybe you can't even get there. Oh, 
shit, there's a chest there. We have to get that. So this is already underneath Shares's caress. Um, so I don't actually want to go down here further because we would get there once we are actually inside of there. Um, but this just seemed too juicy. Okay. My son, he's only a boy. You must understand. Okay, cool. Uh, this is the temple again, so we can talk to this little uh, newspaper boy. Bet you want to know all about Stelmain's murder? Hottest topic in Rivington. Apart from the March of the Absolute's Army, I suppose. <laughs> Got today's edition of the Baldur's Mouth Gazette right here. You want one? I still have one, but sure. Give me. You know, murder is not a good thing, right? I was actually more interested in the story about the Army of the Absolute. Do you have that one? I'll take one. Excellent. You enjoy that one, all right? It's really gory. <laughs> Stalmane is dead. This does not bode well. This is front page material. Um, okay. Is this a new paper? It is. Uh... It's edition 86, I don't know which one the previous one was. Merchant Guild declares magic item market saved by adventurers. Ritualistic murder of Duke Stalemane and Elf Song still unsolved. Postmaster Danzo Arkwright in trouble. What is happening to our letters? Pressure mounting between Baldurians and refugees. We can't risk taking spies of the Absolute in. Gortash's coronation imminent. Witness the ascension of Baldur's Gate's first Archduke. Donation drive open at the refugee camp. Give a little help a lot. Bloris Mead Honey gives you money saving advice. Um, is Stalemain the, the one from the Silver Steel Guard or whatever um, that the Emperor was connected to? So, anything else out here to talk to? Yeah, right, this first. Uh, first rock breed, fist rock breed. Okay, it's not high. Bloody dogs. Oh, shit. Heroic portrait of Gortrash. What are you doing? Come on, you can get to that shit from here. Oh my god. This. This is so stupid. Sure, uh, we'll have to get there from some other way. Uh, post house sign. Sword Coast Couriers. Yo, what up? Ah, a new face. Something to send. Don't be shy. There's issue eighty three. Uh, citizens must come first, claims Gortesh over refugee rabble. Absolute unwelcome. Cold offered cold shoulder in city. Crackdown on crime crews destabilizes underworld. F Fist Gala celebrates recruiting season. Waterdeep waits through red tape over sending aid. Steelwatch keeps grip on crime's throat tight. Meeting meat standards and the common red. Siege tips. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Gortash's coronation poster. I just, uh, I'm just gonna take that, right? You're good with that. A log of dispatched passages turned to the most recent pages. Page, packages sent. Pigeon acquisition request. Bloomridge Park. Post house apology missive. Knit friggle bottom. Carry on Van Thumper. Aldous Gate gazettes. Our city circulation. Note to chase up Astra for promised personal interview. D. Frontline war report, Duke Ravenguard, oh god. Component pouches, sorcerers, sundries. Refugi refugee letter, Rector Yanis, open hand temple. Primer on Kalimshan. Are you good with me walking around back here? I guess you are, huh? 
A primer on local Kalamshan dialects covered in clumsy notes. You want to stroll down Kalamport's bustling streets, buck down a broader alleyway and breathe in the smell of Asarth from the kitchen bags? Want to be nodded uh, want to be nodded to in respect as an Alimari fee by the locals? Well, read on, noble traveler of tongues, to learn that what linguistic wonders await in the shining lands. Um, anything else? Is she the one talking or is she the one talking? Lens the journals, I think she is, huh? Employee pay log. The pay slips of all the employees of the post house. Dringo's pay is marked and docked two copper pieces at Mahaya's requ request. Uh, a dress book. Ooh. Is this your dress book? A log missing deliveries turned to the most recent page. Arbuckle knit. Broadsheet delivery never arrived. Mightily irked. Mungo Frigglebottom. Eltor Shul Academy tuition fees notices. Would prefer these letters stay lost. Mystic carry on. Funeral invitations. Won't be caught dead using such a good rate service again. Such a second. What? Such a second rate service again. Thirstwool Van Thumper. Iron Flask. Oh shit. Do you know who my parents are? I swear. <laughs> Thirstful Van Thumper. This is the guy that uh, we stole from. Note. Any letters marked postmaster shipment inquiry that we've found and retrieved unopened? Ah, will be much appreciated, Danzo. Fuck. We opened them. Address book. A collection of postal addresses for notable city folk. Alan Elf, Elf Song Tavern Eastway, Alandra Gray, Water Queen's House, The Steeps. Note only send couriers with border breathing potions to hand. Bloris Mead Honey, Counting House, The Steeps. Captain Grizzly, real name? Unlikely. Blushing Mermaid. Note, warn couriers, armed post folk don't oft return. Cora Highbury, larger boat, upper side boulders, mouth heapside. Edward Needle. Baldur's Mouth, Heapside, Note, has requested full-time courier for mouth shipping. Father Lorgan, Note, Deceased, Address Post for Rector Yanis, Open Hand Temple, Rivington. Figaro, Pennygood, Facemakers Fashion, Near Upper City Gates. Havkilag, Note, has philosophical objection to postal service. Address to Goldbraith to get anything done. The Society of Brilliance Lodge at the Steeps. This is where we need to go, by the way. Lady Janeth. Janeth Estate Mansion near Upper City Gates. Loro uh, uh, Akan. Ooh, this is the one with the Night Song um, quest. Ramazif's Tower, the Wide. Note All posts to be directed via Sorcerer's Sundri Sunrise Heapside. Mamzelle Amira, Sheress's Caress, Worms Crossing. Manip Nestor, Flaming Fist Barracks, Basilisk Gate. Note Recent reassignment to Rivington. Uh, and Vicar Humble Toes, Stormshore Tabernacle, Eastway. All right, let's talk to this guy. I'm uh, sorry, I opened that shit. Welcome to Sword Coast Couriers. To send and to serve. Delivery not guaranteed. Uh. Wait, delivery not guaranteed? <laughs> he has to say that because his deliveries didn't get in time anywhere. I'm not sending anything. You can drop the sales routine. It's rare to meet with someone so cheerful these days. Why the good mood? Uh -huh. I'm alive and well, aren't I? Earning an honest living, serving my community. I've plenty to be happy about. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Though, I will admit it's been tough recently. We've had to cut down our courier routes. Too risky with that army rampaging nearby. I'll tell you, it's left me in a right pickle. I've sent what I can by pigeon, but now something's attacking them and all. Become a postmaster, Danzo. It'll be easy. <laughs> Nobody mentions having to spend your evenings hunting for pigeon carcasses, do they? You sense there's more to his anxiety than a few missing letters. Is this letter is this the letter you were looking for? Level with me? What's really going on here? Any idea where the birds went missing? I could find the pigeons for you. My fees are very reasonable. I'd be happy to take a look. Good luck with that. Um level me with me, what's really going on here? Oh. One of the missing letters is my own correspondence. A, a personal matter, nothing serious. But you can understand if people think I can't even deliver my own letters, I'd be finished. 
Well. Uh, <laughs> just persuade him to pay us now since we already opened them and then give him... <laughs> we won't do that, but it's cool that we could. Is, is this the letter you were looking for? Uh, yeah. You've opened it, I see. Sorry. Well, let's cut to the chase. Go on. Tell me how much your silence is going to cost me. Nothing, my guy. Intimidation, Erm. Give me all your gold. Or I start breaking fingers. Persuasion. Everything you have. It will take a lot of gold to make me forget that horrible letter I definitely read. I don't even know what was in there anymore. I didn't read it. I'm not here to blackmail you. You are? Right. Well, uh... Here's a little something anyway. A gift. Let's not mention this to anyone else. Our little secret. All right. Cash. I can't remember what was in there, but sure. Terrible shit was in there. Are we allowed to go in here? Hey. Just walking through your house. Don't mind me. Uh... Life of Beaky. The pigeons and service of the communicators of this city deserve far more being renowned than what that which is afforded to them. Take Beaky, for example. A pigeon, age 10. A great, great, great grandfather and a noble... Uh, that was one great too many. And a noble upholder of his tremendous duties. Orange of beak and charcoal of wing. Rare is the Baldurian who has not glimpsed the flash of his wing darting hither and fro across our fair city. Beaky has carried Duke's writs, marriage announcements, emergency notices, and more with a nary a complaint from his cooing beak. Who among us can claim a more stalwart dedication to so important a profession? And post house dogs log. This log of courier hounds is matted with dried saliva and dog hair. <laughs> Ballworth. No fleas, lots of nodding though. Coat matted, breath smells, big bark still. Good boy. Snee. Good girl, as always. No coat matting. Scratches occasionally. Note, check for fleas later. Scratch, still gone. Miss you, boy. Ooh! It's our dog. Uh, how do we get to the dogs? Oh, through here, okay. Let's just go up. I don't know if we're allowed to. Maybe there's something cool to find. Oh, cool, something cool to find. Oh, here. Jeffers Marston, hi. Pigeons are very sensitive. They can't fly straight if they're disturbed. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, damn. Reading material. Uh, to Lord Haverford Gist. To the Honorable Lord Haverford Gist, your reputation as a charitable nobleman is renowned far beyond the walls of Baldur's Gate. Those walls that would preserve my family from the rage of the absolute cult, could we but gain admittance. However, the flaming's fist at the south span of Worms Crossing are adamant in their refusal to let us in. I beg you to please use your influence to send message to them showing allowing your passage. We would owe you our undying gratitude, and if you were in need of an experienced scribe, I would be willing to work for only the most nominal wages. Scribe Gallagher Brime in Rivington. To hiring manager Steelwatch Foundry. Greetings. I am an experienced forge assistant, currently stuck in Rivington, but I expect to get into the city soon. When I do, I hope you'll grant me an interview at your famous foundry because I'm going to need work and I'm really very good at hammering and, you know, tonguing. Anyway, don't forget me. I'll be coming around shortly so you can see if you, if you want to hire me. Henry Tonks Buckster. From H, refusal of admittance. Petitioner name here. The Flaming Fist Company regrets to inform you that your request to enter Baldur's Gate has been denied. This is due to, check all that apply, evasive answers to routine questions, suspected cult affiliation, lack of visible means of support. Denied petitioners may reapply after a 10 day, but too frequent reapplication is considered harassment and subject to penalty. Oh wow. So, we get, it seems to me like we get questions one, questioned once we want to enter Baldur's Gate. Um, we support it. Uh, this might still be the case since we have the tadpole in our head and we can't evade his, uh, be evasive about his, uh, his questions. To Lily Chasman, Provost Academy. Dear Lily, 
Debtors and I can't believe our luck in getting you admitted to Provost. It's a boarding student just before this refugee crisis sealed the, the city gates. It cost two arms and a leg. I've got two arms <laughs> in my inventory. Uh, but if it keeps you inside the gate's walls until the danger is passed, it's worth whatever we had to pay. Now, don't worry about your parents. We're, sta we're safe enough in Riventing as long as the Steel Watch is here to protect us. And whatever happens, whatever you hear, don't take it into your head to leave the city. Knowing that you're safe at the Academy is what keeps us going every day. And you'll get through this. You know we will. You know we will. Helm bless and keep you, Lily. Uh, cool, very interesting. Uh, let's talk to the pigeons. Pigeon. Name and rank? Pick me now. There's a war on. <laughs> Against the absolute? I know, I'm fighting it. Uh, Lieutenant Will, reporting for duty. Rank, are you in the army? Lieutenant Will. That is. That is. <laughs> I am Commander Lightfeather. Oh, shit. Leader of the finest aerial communication regiment this side of the Chionta. Chionta, now we know how it's pronounced. Take purpose, ground walker. I don't have all day. <laughs> ground walker. I found letters carried by some of your birds. I'm afraid they didn't make it. Why does a flock of carrier pigeons need a commander? You've got a pretty high opinion of yourself for a pigeon. First one. I suspected as much. Bloody shame. But that's the nature of war. Make your report. How did the battle unfold? <laughs> they died horribly, painful deaths, blood, guts, and feathers all over the place. They fought to the last feather against a truly formidable foe. They were eaten by a flying cat. Second one. Of course they did. <laughs> no doubt it was my training gave them the discipline and <laughs> resolve to stay in the fight. <laughs> this is Your so dumb. This is appreciated. This information will be vital in deciding our new strategy. Dismissed. <laughs> That's so cool. Ah, enlisted avian. <laughs> ah, good shit. Uh, enlisted avian. Meet Commander Lightfeather. A word, if I may. <laughs> A little wet under the wing. Wet. Unit. The commander will soon straighten you out. <laughs> oh God, this is so dumb. More. I've no need of a wing man. Commander Lightfeather will give you your briefing. <laughs> wing man. Ah, <laughs> uh, nice. Uh, have a lot on my mind. More. Well. All right, let's get out to the to the doggies. Maybe they know something about scratch. Let's see what this does. When will I get to try? Woof! Uh, woof, I beg your pardon. Sit, stay, heal. Woof! A charming effort, but you can't fool me. <laughs> You're not a dog. Uh, oh, so what shit! What the hell are you doing in my kennels? <laughs> what? <laughs> woof, I'd like to buy a dog. I think I found one of your dogs. Scratch. You were being awfully harsh on the boy when I arrived. Uh, I found one of your dogs. Found him, did you? I can't say I'm surprised. Gomwick never kept him on a tight leash. Bring him here, and I'll give him a once-over for you. Check him for worms and so on. Cool. Yes, please. I'd love to see him. He's a good dog. We'd both love to see him again. Easy. Um. Whistle for scratch. <laughs> yeah, what up? <gasps> scratch! Oh, it's good to see you, boy. Shut up, Dringo, and get back to work. And you've been slacking as well, Scratch, my boy. This dog is property of Sword Coast Couriers. I'll take him off your hands now. No, you won't. You shouldn't raise your hand to him like that. I, I thought Scratch belonged to Gomwick. Is there any reward for returning him? Is there any reward for returning him? Jesus, R sounds fuck my tongue. Uh, he lives with me. You can't just take him. Sorry, Scratch, he's right. You don't belong to me. Uh, no. Uh huh. I can do whatever I please. He's my dog. Now get out. This is a private yard. I'm sorry, Scratch. There's nothing to do. No intimidation. I'll break every bone in your body before I let you hurt that dog. Preservation. He's forgotten his training. He'll be ter he'll be a terrible influence on the rest of your hounds. Uh huh. He'll stay with me. There's no chance. Here, everything, everything in the table. Dicks out for for Scratch. 
Eat this bitch. I'm not surprised. Gonwick always indulged him. And he's got a spark in his eye I don't like. Looks lively. Oh my god. Matt, if you're so inclined. I'll have nothing more to do with him. Okay, I have to free all the other dogs. Well, it's not just scratch. She's always hurting the dogs. See? Shut your mouth, Dringo. Oh god. Free the dogs. I'm sorry, Dringo. I only care about scratch. Deception. I hear Lord Gortesh abhors animal abuse. Perhaps I should report you to him. Intimidation. I'll give you the, to the count of ten to leave these kennels. One, two... I don't want to... Hmm. She's not going to better herself. She's not going to change her ways just because Lord Gortesh. Intimidation. I'm going to intimidate her. It's a 20. I don't give a fuck. Uh, we have to. We're going to free these doggies. Fine. You think you can do a better job without me? Be my guest. Get the fuck out, bitch. A bunch of mongrels. You're welcome to them. Get chomp, bitch. Oyster boy. You got rid of her. I'll do a better job looking after these dogs than she ever did. Okay. I promise. Nice. Talk to doggy. Thank you for making mistress go away. She was horrid. <laughs> How can these dogs be so perfectly uh, animated? It's so crazy. Uh, here. Why, why is he only called mistress dog? Is gone. Mistress is gone. I, I mean, um, such terrible news. <laughs> she will be missed. Much loyal. Very well. Never a dull moment. Nice. No inspiration? I don't give a fuck. We freed some doggies. Uh, why do you not let this doggy out? You... I'll do a... Alright. Uh, very good. <laughs> so let's talk to this reporter here. I'm sure we can get a cool story. Uh, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. talk to her. Yeah, what up? Also a tiefling. Ah, are you trying to get into the city? Got a minute to tell me about your experience at the gate today? Sure. Uh, slow down a second. Who are you? Why is security so tight? No comment. No comment. Who are you? I'm Lens, roving reporter for the Boulder's Mouth Gazette. My editor sent me to cover the drama out here at the gate. He wants some fluff piece about the heroic steel watch keeping the mob at bay. Mm -hmm. Whether or not that's the truth or not. Propaganda. As usual. Um, and what do you think is the truth? What do you think is the truth? I thought journalists were supposed to, supposed to be impartial. Criticizing the Steel Watch? That's not an opinion you hear often. And I'm not interested at all. Goodbye. Mm. The first one. That the refugees here are desperate, hungry, scared people. They're no more. They just want to be safe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've heard the rumors. Absolutists marching from Moonrise Towers. Whole towns felled by strange curses. It's no wonder they ran. Of course, I can't write any of that. My editor only releases stories his friend Lord Gortash approves of. And he's very selective. This is how capitalist media works, my friends. Uh, that's appalling. So people in the city have no idea what's going on. I'd love to speak with your editor. Where can I find him? Sounds like you're printing Gortash's propaganda. Have you considered that perhaps you're just a not, very, not a very good writer? Uh, first one. Oh, they know some of it. Most would rather bury their heads in the sand anyway. Saves them the bother of feeling responsible. I'll try and get the truth across. Who knows? Maybe a line or two will meet Mr. Needle's approval. I won't be holding my breath. So why can't you publish independently? Sorry, can't talk. I'm on a deadline. Damn. These conversations get cut short, man. Holy. Uh, by the way, we have to take a look at this goddamn poster now. I don't know why we have to do this from the yard. Lord Enver Gortash, the people's man, the gate's protector. Sure. 
Okay, so I finally think we have been everywhere here and we can make our way to Sharessa's caress. But there's this horrorous guy here and this first capsule. Ravengard, I think. Heartless bastards. If they just listen. Huh? Take it somewhere else. My hands are full. Um, sure. Self span checkpoint. Oh, it's one. Of, oh, this is the steel watch automatons. Outraged. Um, sure. Damned outsiders swarm in the place. <laughs> Citizens only. I won't say it again. But we won't clear from. Halt! By orders of Lord Gortash, refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. I am not a refugee. I have urgent business in this city. You have no idea who you're talking to. Let me through or I'll kill you. I uh, I am not a refugee. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? Of course. What the hell is that for? Question 200 bucks. My good lady. Oh. I am well Ravengard. I will not pay to enter my own city. <laughs> he says in fucking clown. Like the ghastliest tiefling south of Neverwinter. Jesus. Never it is decreed. Oh, wow. I can take care of myself. I'm here on pilgrimage. The temples will support me. I don't need any money to support myself. I'll live off what I can find in nature. I'm out of money, but I'll get some soon. Um, I suspect that only this works, but of course, this might be a trick to get in. I'm afraid Article 13.1.7 stipulates that religious or spiritual assertions cannot count towards one's proof of self-sufficiency. I will repeat, for the last time, may I add, do you have means to support yourself? Yeah, I have. Right. Article 30.1.5 of the Council's Decree on Extraordinary Wartime Measures I am confiscating that. Fascist. The city thanks you for your contribution. Your name? Why do you need my name? My name is Shuni. I am called Daisy Dewdrop Fluffington. Never mind, I'll be on my way. You are scamming me. Give me my money back. Fascist pigs, huh? Uh, we are not gonna give her my real name. Well met, citizen Fluffington. Your parasite stirs. From the oh god. You feel connection. Resonance. What in the hell is that thing? Can I go now? Remain silent. Remain silent. State your business. What? What makes my business your business? That's none of your concern. Baldur's Gate is my city, my home. Monk deception. Pilgrimage to the city. I walk barefoot from the Rosemorn Monastery. <laughs> I'm not barefoot. <laughs> Standing right in front of her. I'm not barefoot. Never mind, I'll be on my way. Uh, we are Baldurian, so we're gonna pick this. Even though this is a cool answer, we'll pick this. Uh huh. Eyes open, body still. Do as she says, stand still. Why? On second thought, I'll come back later. Stand still. The watcher's gaze of presence awakens. You are seen. You are known. Whoa. My engine, it's almost... I don't know... Buzzing. Like it's paying attention. Your party's prior transgressions are reflected in its stare. As witnessed by the cult's ever alert, scrying eyes, it has heard the howls of slaughtered goblins. Oh, the watcher no. speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poisoned honey. You are marked for special treatment. Not simply an enemy of the people, but an enemy of the absolute. Come quietly or die. Okay, so what happens if we fight this guy? There's like... How many people will be there? Will the whole town hate us? Because, you know, I don't want to do that. Do 
We're gonna get arrested. It's cool. Uh, we can make our way out of there, I think, because we got uh, a bunch of new moves. We got all the unopen hand, no weapon shit if they take our stuff again. So we would be able to defend ourselves and fight ourselves back out. So I don't want to fight here because I would still want to be able to move inside of that place. So. Yeah. Your peaceful surrender has been noted. You will be transferred to Worms Rock Prison, where you will await further sentencing. <laughs> what are you doing? We cannot defeat the brain without that stone. Stone? Deafening Two more legs sight. for smashing. Did Wint be speaking? Yeah, we don't have our weapons anymore. Uh, what stone? Unusual skull. How, Malapert? Must thou stare at so? Who's talking? Show yourself. Pardon me? A talking skull. I must be losing my mind. Examine the skull. What magic is at work? Fox is cunning. Cool. Oh, damn. Nice. The enchantment is clearly the work of an advanced caster. The body may have wasted away, but the mind that inhabited it is imprinted on the skull. Who's talking? Show yourself. Pardon me. Who's talking? Nasa hides within me. I am merely a skull, nay more and nay less. I call myself Marvin. Thou mayst do the same. Unfortunate, nay, ineluctable, perchance evitable to be confined in such immuring quarters. Thou wisheth to escape the confines of this prison, doth thou not? I can hopest thee for the cost of two riddles. Oh, shit. Answer me true, and I shall teleport thee to safety. Answer me false. <laughs> so we could have just fought. Go on, ask your riddles. What a strange game you're playing. Who put you up to this? You talk like a drunk poet. If you wish to converse, you need to pick plainly. Speak plainly. Uh, sure. Maybe the uh, riddles will be a little bit easier that way. Easy money. Common is just so very common. <laughs> Very well. To rephrase, I will teleport you away for the cost of two riddles. Answer them right, and I send you to safety. Answer them wrong, and I send you to the guards. Sure. Uh, who put you up to this? <sighs> the blame and the pleasure belong solely to me. A fine wizard I was. And a fine jester, too, imprisoned for one night after a delightful rash of debauchery. <laughs> the spirit of a prankster had always dwelled in me. The game laid before you is born of jest, wizardry, and whiskey. Whiskey. Uh, go on. Then we begin. I fly, but not through the sky. I say goodbye at night and hello in the morning. I am part of you and follow wherever you go. I wear only black Shadow. and run from the light. Yet without it, I couldn't exist. Who am I? A shadow. Very good. Your freedom is nigh. And now, the second riddle. I am beaten and battered, but never break. My crown has felt the strike of endless blades, yet I can never move. I never sweat, even when the summertide sun shines upon me. Is it a mountain? Who am I? An anvil, a king, a shield. I 
think it's an anvil. An anvil indeed. Nice. You make me most proud. It is time to depart. Are you ready, madam? Get me the hell out. Freedom is yours. Savor it, for there is no gift that cannot be reclaimed or ravaged. Away! Cool. Wait, only us? <laughs> the others are still stuck. Uh, okay, where's our shit? And how do we turn off this goddamn light? It's too bright in here. Oh, hi. Why is she here? Consul Floric. Oh, fuck. I need to. Can I talk to her? No, I can't. She's alone, right? I can't fuck her up. Uh, would you please attack her? She isn't alone. <laughs> Why is she not alone? Kill a character with an unarmed strike. What? I haven't done that before? What the hell? Uh, I'm not sure if that was a good idea, to be honest. Uh, yeah, but this, this is where our stuff is. I think we had to do that. Would they have been cool with us? Fugitive. This fugitive will will be attacked on sight and where he rooms rob prison guards and arrested for other guards in the fortress. So this stays here for seven turns. Fuck. I think I want to I want to reload. Cuz you know, we could have just waited out these seven turns, I guess. And then taken our shit. Hmm. Oh, what the fuck? Hmm. No, wait, this isn't our shit. Where's our shit? Hmm. I think I'm gonna reload. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't just want to go kill people willy-nilly, so we do this shit again. I'm sorry. <laughs> but we got the achievement. <laughs> How did we... Uh, huh? We have killed people before, unhanded. We've kicked people to death. Weird. Uh, we could have pickpocketed her. So let's be a little bit scummy and pick up these slate of hand gloves, I think. Citizens only. I won't Outraged. say it again. But we won't clear from arm. There's nowhere else to go. Please. Orders are orders. We got ours, you He's got yours. Frank I need you to step him. back. There must be something. This charm has also been used. <laughs> Fascinating. I'm All right. Step forward. Would well, you, my great no refugees? It, I will repeat your name. Well, your parasite stirs. I state your business. Uh huh. Eyes open, body still. Uh, it has hurt the watch. You are marked for special treat. Your it's okay. It's okay. What are you doing? We cannot defeat the brain without that stone. Oh, the nether stone. Oh, Jesus. Oh, see, we should have checked out here a little bit more. Um, the true life of Lord Gortash. The true life of Lord Gortash, a biography, a manuscript by Vance Farnall. 
Outline of Contents, Final Pass, Andrew Flim, an orphan among urchins, struggle for survival on the streets, juvenile felonies, the Flim rap sheet, gang years, the heapside reavers, same face, new name, Flim to Gortash, the gates posh kingpin, an independent entrepreneur, rivals, all of my rivals are dead, muscling in on arms smuggling, the Zen's day is past, the black hand of Bane, shakes the bloody hand of Baal, not even everything is enough, an absolutely ingenious plan, but the gravitas of Catholic Thorm, decapitating the Gondian hierarchy, call me Lord Gortash, note, add section about the steel watch with info acquired from interviewing that, Gond that Gondian who escaped the foundry, something about how the watchers are Gortash's more pow most powerful defenders but also his greatest vulnerability, since they've all, they're, they're all controlled from one central nexus. Cool, we can de deactivate them. Must thou stare so? Oops. You can't fathom how this skull could be made. Answer me true, and I shall teleport thee to safety. The merriment laid before thee is born of trifling jest, wizardry. Answer them right, and I wear own. I, I never sweat. It is time to depart. Oh, this is our stuff. Oh god, how do we get our stuff back? Because th th this is everything, right? Oh my god, this is the shit everyone was carrying around. Just out of view. Still, it allows us to equip our stuff again. Oh god. I hope she doesn't see me in here. This is horrible. With a flick of the wrist. over too far gone with swift as my feet can carry me you might as well lock the cell you're too late it's over. The guard prepares to attack. What? Fugitives are What's going on? I'm in sight. What the hell is going on? Good thing I didn't save, huh? <laughs> I don't want to kill these people. God damn it. Fuck. Sorry, I fucked up. I should have saved. Um I why is she this weird? Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot. Ah, oh, yeah. Then go. Citizens are I need to say it again, but we won't clear from arm. There's nowhere else to go. Please, orders are orders. We've got ours, you've got yours. I need you. No refugees. It is to no refugees. It is and I will repeat your name. Well, your parasite stirs. I state your business. Uh huh. Eyes open, body still. But you're at the watch. You are marked for special. Your skip, you skip, skip. What are you doing? 
We cannot defeat the brain without that stone. I hate that we will have to reorder all the shit we picked up before. <laughs> Let's save before we do this. You can't fathom how this skull could... Answer me true, and I shall teleport me to safety. Answer them right, and I send you to sick. The spirit of a... I wear only blood. I never sweat, even... It is time to depart. Oh, my God. Time to skulk about. Why are we... This... Greater invisibility. Why? I'd like to turn off this. Why can't I turn off this? This calls for careful footwork. Is this a buff we got from, from the guy? Damn. Bunch of rounds of fugitive, huh? The gods are watching me. Auto order. So time's running down here. Maybe we can just <laughs> just chill here and not be <laughs> lethargic, consumed by exhaustion in the aftermath of haste. Why are we completely in light? Please don't see me. Nice. <laughs> Can we just sit here and wait it out and not be a fugitive anymore? Let's see. I hate it. Ugh. There's no order in here anymore. Oh, God. <laughs> She's cool with me standing here. Yeah, it's all good. I assume the others would get that status again. Or they would get the same uh, status. So... Have to keep going. I'm gonna go here. And then I'll have to transport all of this goddamn shit to them. I hate it. Oh, that's terrible, honestly. So, this goes to Will. Uh, I don't know where this goes. Shadowheart. There's one key on this chain. Shiny key. Yeah, yeah, I'm from the Jesus is so old. Uh from the from the grove. annoying as hell.
this is all wheel here. Staff of mumbling wizard. The fuck did that come from? Oh, these are the letters. Yeah, this is still will stuff here. This is ours, so I guess this is also Will. Send that off to camp. So annoying. So this is all of our stuff. Ah. No, are these the books? No, they aren't. These are the books. Oh, God. <laughs> you can put pouches into backpacks? So there's a shadow heart here. Up till here. And then this has to be Karlak. So we'll put this back on. Rest is fine. Come on, let's go. You put this back on and this back on. Shadow Heart gets this back. Alright, cool. A little bit annoying, but it is what it is. No, wait, 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 wait. Shoot. Or this combined with this. No? Two handed. Both? Here you go. Okay, cool. Um, we are not a fugitive anymore. The this. others aren't as well. Maybe because we ha they haven't actually left their cell yet. With haste. So we go here and we save since we've done all that annoying ordering now. And we go inside of this place. Hope that we don't get hated for it. Bet I can crack that open. It's over. He's too far gone. <laughs> You might as well lock the cell. You're too late. It's over. Counselor, what happened to you? I don't understand. What do you mean? You're talking drivel. I'm getting you out of here. So you're giving up just again. What happened to you? The Steel Watch happened. I came seeking allies to our cause. Watchers spotted me. Dragged me to Alder Ravenguard's husk. Empty as a stair. Tadpole's puppet. Nothing more. He spoke in accusations. Apostasy. Conspiracy. Sedition. I'll be executed in five dawns. You might have unlocked my cell, but there's no escape from this place. Of course there is. I'm breaking you out. Baldur's Gate needs you. Raven Guard needs you. Pathetic. <laughs> I'm getting you out so I can beat some sense into you. Preservation. When the people need a miracle, 
You cannot wait for the gods to answer. Older's words. I'd almost forgotten. No more sulking. I know what to do. Get influenced. So is she no coming with us? My cell. Escort me out of Worms Rock. Oh wow. I'll seek out my connections. When the city streets shatter, you'll want their blades. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Well done. Lead the way. Okay, this is gonna be hard. How do we lead her out? Okay, can we do it this? She doesn't have the fugitive. All right, what now? So can we just do this and everything is fine? Or does, does she get it now? No. What to do? Let's save, see what happens. Well, okay, these apparently are also part of um, the absolute now, so I don't know if there's any option but to kill them. Kind of fucked up, but you know, it is what it is. Because we will get her out. Uh, she will be part of the big gang. So we are now in revolution mode. And this means uh, these hogs have to go. Critical miss. Ugh. Yeah, well. <laughs> okay. Can you do any magic shit? Wait, yeah, you can. Here. Aha! Are you like that, bitch? Well, she can't. Um... <laughs> Seventy percent hit chance, critical hit through these doors. Get out, play, bitch. Ignis this motherfucker. Can't reach? Oh wow. How can she not reach? There you go. Get Ignis on. Shit. Will they open the door? That would be so funny. Uh, you do nothing. Oh, 79, you do something. Magic missile. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, magic missile, this asshole. Ba 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 ba. Wow, pathetic. Okay. Stunt. Get knocked down, motherfucker. Oh shit, he didn't get knocked down. I talked too early. Spoke too soon. Um, here. Now this is my happy place. Get shot. Come at us. <laughs> he opens. Lock, 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 lock. Is this stuck now? <laughs> uh, nice play. Here. Now what? Upcast, create an additional dart per level. So, oh wow. Get extremely. Ah oh, yeah, blasted to the max. 
Hier ist Stunt. Uh, no, you don't, bitch. Oh, shit. Maybe you do. Shit. Kinda wanna do this to knock him back. Doesn't work exactly. Ready for another round. <laughs> we just keep shooting this asshole. Ignis, oh, miss. Ignis. <laughs> so dumb. Motherfucker needs to die. Stop it, man. With haste. Get knocked over, motherfucker. <laughs> Maximum panic mode. Being kid. Oh shit. He's got a whole chicken. I should free these others so uh, they lose the fugitive state a little bit faster at least things have stayed interesting don't waste a step hi auto odd what's up what do you want not your attitude that's for certain to help you escape if i can i don't need to escape I've got food, water, privacy, and I mean to keep it that way. Sure. If you think that's a good idea, uh, suit yourself. I'm cursed to put my hands on everything. Is there nothing else here? Focused. Yeah. You can talk once I'm free. This looks like it's destructible. But I guess it's not. Alright. Sunflower seed bun. So let's take their shit, let's if there is much to take here, probably not, They're, but they have a storage apparently, because we got the key for it. Oops. Yeah, sit down. No, don't need anything else. The 
this is the way out probably yeah entrance door i expect there to be more people here saying you can't reach that okay see this walnut isn't allowed to be stolen but this tomato is but that will fit in my bag storage room Time to take your shit. Nice. We have lost a student, a fugitive uh, debuff, so no one should fuck with us anymore, I think. but okay mm, I wonder where we come out now sleepy guy here but I don't think he should attack us that's a friendly looking shadow Let's see what he has Yoink. Prison log. Record of prisoners charged before the people of Baldur's Gate. Memorandum from the Honorable Lord Enver Gortash. Let no prisoner be released from neither their cell nor Worms Rock proper without my explicit consent. Presume every detainee an absolutist spy until they provide me substantial evidence to the contrary. Baldur's Gate must be kept secure. Name, Earspoon, charge and decent exposure. Status absolved and released with prejudice on order of Lord Gortash. Name, auto art. Charged, drunken and disorderly conduct. Again, status detained. Name, Councillor Floric. Charge, treason, sedition, incitement of discontent. Status detained, awaiting execution. Holy. Uh, would be cool to come here from the other side and be like, oh shit, we know her. Wonder if the gods are but me. I'd probably... Uh, wouldn't wouldn't have been able to remember that name and be like, who? <laughs> oh no! It's clear not everything you find is at your disposal. Oh, yeah, sorry. I took a little bit shit. Lord Gortash has been expecting your arrival. Please hold a moment. I am um, not willing to go to him. Fades. But another takes its place. Oh God! Confident, dominant, commanding. My most esteemed guests, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer, slayer of the dread General Kethric Thorn. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city. This city will never be yours. A pleasure to meet you. Could we talk face to face? I'm going to find you and I'm going to kill you. A pleasure to meet you. Could we talk face to face? Of course. My seal watchers are rather adept at keeping the peace, but not entirely suitable for polite conversation. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. We went through <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> oh. Hi. So weird. 
Men, women, children, all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago, Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. <laughs> he says with his fucking souls, clown makeup. If not the jewel of Baldurin. What a shame. Baldur's Gate has responsibility to people in need. Perhaps we can reason with the leadership. The refugees can go elsewhere. A city in crisis has the right to secure itself. Baldur's Gate was a safe ref refuge when I left it. This must be Gortash's doing. Uh huh. As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one create an army and order it to march on the city. Step two shut the gates in the name of security. Step three bask in the applause. Gortash hasn't made Baldur's Gate safe, he's made it a prison. And when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. To make this city a safe haven, we'll need to bathe Gortash and his allies in their own blood. Maybe you could say that a little bit louder in here. <laughs> the Emperor promises incredible powers if we're willing to pursue them. Oh, oh wait, yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, he found a teleporter. Um, so how do we get back out? I want to do this properly from here. See, this is where we got, uh, picked up. Um, where's the, uh, way out? This is passageway, passageway. This both lead, just leads to the prison, so is this the way out? We're going to be back, but I want to do this, uh, from the front. Yeah, this looks good. Oh God! This is far enough. Oh, the way should be clear. I can't thank you enough for getting me out of that damned prison and for giving me courage when I'd all but run out. It's the least we could do. Your faith in this city should inspire us all. I'm glad to see you free. You prove you've proven a vital ally. What will you do now? Good luck out there. You'll need it. I'm glad to see you free. When the flames roared loudest, you pulled me to safety. Most would have let me burn. I won't forget it. I will travel to the upper city. Find what allies I can. You won't fight the coming battle alone. Nice. As long as the city stands, I will stand with it. This is my promise. Cool. So... Please make Ooh. your way to the audience chamber. Diplomatic rescue. <laughs> Safe console Floric from Wim's Rock. Okay, um one fiery friend. Confront Lord Gortash. We learned Gortash is currently being ordained as Archduke of Baldur's Gate. This could be Kordak's chance to confront him. Gather your allies. Floric is immensely great grateful that we freed her and helped with the threat at Moonrise. We are sure to have her and the Flaming Fist by our side when we need it most. Didn't we just kill Flaming Fist people? But yeah, sure. And we made it to Worms Rock Fortress and were invited to Goitish's inauguration. inauguration um, shit. Wait. Upstairs? <laughs> Actually in here. Not this again. Its masters. It's acting of its own will. Okay. This is where we would have entered. Is she naked? She's not. <laughs> How about the flop house? It has plenty of spare parts. And we found a teleporter. <laughs> Um, sure. So this is a whole new place to look at, huh? Oh, damn. Build a chest. <laughs> so I guess we just start exploring. Uh, thank you.
What up? Greetings. <laughs> okay. Greetings. Uh, special order. Special noticed Iron Hand gnomes. Let it be known that these known terror bringers and violent peace disruptors are to be killed on sight. The attempt to bring them in for in bring them in for questioning or trial would create too great a risk to lo local officers. Signed, Duke Alder Ravengard. Bounty list. Fugitives and bounties. Worms Crossing Re precinct. Reminder: Unless the man says otherwise, he pays only half bounty if the fugitive is brought in dead. Toot, Fosslethwaite. Breach of Promise, 10 gold. The Masked Vinegaroon, Armed Robbery, 60 gold. Dogberry Forceps, Fraudulent Impersonation, 20 gold. Cantharides, Slander of the Archduke, Designate, 8 gold. Dr. Hengrist, Murder by Slow Poison, 140 gold. Armf Brogan, Iron Hand Gnome's Agent, 50 gold. See if we can remember that. Something's on my mind. <laughs> He's a man of few words. Is that Volo? No. <laughs> uh, what's down here? Nothing? We are allowed to take all of this shit. I mean, we don't need any of it, but why are we allowed to? Anything to read? No. What's going on up here? Still leads further up. <laughs> There's actually no one up here. We yoink it. Get out of here. Guess I'm not allowed here. Crack. The missus and I have been dreaming about the city. No more sleeping rough. Didn't expect to find it. Locked down tighter than a watcher's fist. Looking for lodgings? Don't bother. All the decent places are gone. Damned coronation. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. Hear me out. Okay, so, um,. We have this place here. Uh, this is Freo's flop house. Uh, this is Shares's caress, and there's three more other uh, three more three more three more rooms or houses or whatever. Uh, so let's just check out this one here on the right first. Seems simple enough. Any name? It's a restaurant. Welcome to Shares's caress. What? Where our libations and sensual indulgences restore even the weariest souls. This is what? So why is this marked as Shores's caress? <laughs> Let's just go in, whatever. For 
Forget your worries. Indulge yourself. A weary traveler, battered and bruised. You come for sustenance. No, decadence. A mien cool as ice, yet eyes burning hot. Oh, yes, I know your bliss. She a hooker. A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip, she gives, <laughs> you receive. What the hell? Or have I misjudged you? I'm in a relationship. Spot on, that sounds delightful. Not my first choice, I wouldn't say, no. You're way off, I'm afraid. Can we talk about this? Can we talk, or can we not talk about this? Not my first choice? You're way off, I'm afraid. Am I? Your eyes tell a story, sweeting. You crave more than pleasure, you crave penance. It's fee on you seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. Uh, will the stern librarian of yours be back tomorrow? We have drow escorts. You have drow escorts on hand. On hand, that does sound tempting. Are there other options for companionship? Let's ask about this one. Swishing. I'm no fortune teller. If I had a crystal ball, I promise I'd already have consulted it. Truth is, Fionn's gone well missing. And my hands may be skillful, but they were not made to turn every last stone she might be hiding behind. You need help. Let me find a Fionn for you. To service is my calling, not to be served. Ugh. But I'd be a fool to say no. We help everyone. <laughs> the girl kept my coffers near overflowing. Two flights up, then turn right and right again. That's Fionn's pleasure room, Elminster's library. Ooh. Here, take the key. On to other I'm matters. Listening. Are there other options for companionship? Nisha, our lovely nymph. But she's engaged in the nymph's grotto on the top floor, sweeting. The client's <laughs> a favorite of hers, too. I doubt you'll be able to tear her away. But we are blessed to have a devil in residence at the uh, is it Raphael? Guest, but he asked that I send any potential clients his way. Everyone who's paid a visit looks quite changed by the experience. Uh, did the devil give you its name? Indeed he did. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Raphael. Exceedingly handsome, and with a voice that could make the foulest blasphemy seem the sweetest hymn. You have a drow escorts on hand? That does sound tempting. Twins, yes. Hands of such skill they could turn stone to silk. Your body could suffer no knot they can't untangle. They're through the curtain to the right. You'll need coin and stamina in abundance to enjoy their services, but the gold will be as well spent as you are. <laughs> Jesus. Leave. I, is this... It is Charesse's caress. <laughs> cool. So, where are my Githyanki homies? These are the drows. Just have a little bit of a look in here. Oh, there's the this guy. <laughs> Just stalking through these halls. Uh, okay, cool. This I didn't expect this place to be this big. Holy! So let's talk to these guys. Damn hoots! That new batch burns stronger than a pit fiend's fist. I'll take that as a compliment. Take it however you want. But I'll be having my usual from now on. Something's off about this one. On your guard. Oh. It's Raphael's favorite misadventurer. 
If put me out of pocket, you know. Raphael bet me five soul coins you'd reach the city in one piece. He rented a room upstairs in the hope that you'd drop by. <laughs> Who are you exactly? I'll go see him. We have unfinished business. What does he want with me? He should have stayed home. Who are you? Ah, oh, I forget. We've never met. I've had my eyes and ears on you so long we feel like old friends. Carilla is my name. I'm Raphael's assistant, shall we say. Take your time. Have a drink. Sample the goods. Go see him when you're feeling refreshed. Cool, so we can bring in uh, Astarian to talk to Raphael. Now, that there's a face I'd remember if I'd seen it. <laughs> the clown. Caress caress. What can Hoots do for you, stranger? You got a taste for ale, I reckon. Or maybe... Ah, forget it. My new brew could drop you in the wink of a spectator's eye. Sheesh, it won't. Show me what you have. Your new brew sounds potent. I'll give that a try. What's the story of this place? I bet a barkeep in this place hears all sorts of stories. Uh-huh. My business is slinging tankards, not hoarding seeds. <laughs> What's he doing? I'd like to keep it that way. Um, what's the story of this place? Caress, the Mamsel's brainchild. Wet your tongue, soak your skin, scratch your itch. Get the attention you want and avoid the attention you don't. Cool place. Uh, your new burrow sounds potent. Give it, I'll give it a try. I don't know about that, chum. Hoots Hooch packs a stronger wallop than all ten of my knuckles. Could beef you up, sharpen your tongue. Or knock you out cold. No telling till the first drop hits your gullet. We take it. Damn. The gal knows what she wants. First one's on the house. So, don't come bawling to me if your big toes fall <laughs> off or your tongue coils in a knot. Okay. Oh, so I just received it. Okay, I'd like what else. I'd like to see what else you have. Have a look. Hoots Hooch. <laughs> so what's she selling? More Hoots Hooch. A new in invention of the Charesses Caresses Bartender Hoots. I like being decked in the sobriety. My amulet of the Drunkard. Booze Remedy. While wearing this amulet, you regain 2 to 8 hit points per turn while drunk. <laughs> Milk, coffee, and just a bunch of other shit that we don't need. All right. All set, are you? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just make the drinks. You're looking parched, sweetheart. Another tankard? Hells, darling. Another sip and I'm like to spill over. But other anchoring for spicier flavors. How about you give me a taste? Jesus Christ. She will have... She will just take care of that. She's experienced. Is everything all right here? I think it's time you got out of here, buddy. No, 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 no. It's her. She has to do it. What'd you say, doll? Have a set on my lap. Let's see what pops up. Darling, Jesus. how you set me a quiver. You are a beast among men. No, a dragon setting my phoenix nest aflame. <sighs> I shall slake your first dragon. You will part your lips and drink of my essence. <laughs> Jesus. I will drink your essence. Hoots, order up. Another tankard for the fist. <laughs> See? Would we have intervened, we would have fucked up her business. This guy is dumb enough to, to fall for it, so we chill here. Uh, Will, it's time for you to talk to this little kitty. to pay your respects to the real lady of the house, <laughs> She I looks see. so cool. What a clever creature you are. It's your lucky day. I am receiving compliments at this time, and you are most welcome to make an offering. <laughs> so good. Good job. 
Uh, why should I? Your eyes are two baleful jewels that strike fear into the most complacent of rats. Your paws are fit to, for to overturn only the daintest crystal wear. <laughs> overturn. <laughs> Drop that shit. Your glorious tail can trip an unsuspecting servant with the grace of an empress. Uh-huh. Oh, you flatterer. But you are, of course, correct. My tail <laughs> is quite the marvel. The unwashed rabble who frequent this establishment have much to learn from your deference. And I must suffer their foibles alone. But they do say a burden shared is a burden halved. What's that shady pair over there whispering about? Do I want to know about who's through those fancy curtains? What are your thoughts on the clientele as a whole? What's that shady pair over there whispering about? Can't you hear from here? They're talking about the new top cat in the criminal underbelly. Go and listen for yourself. As for them personally, one never washes and instead douses himself with rose oil while the other can't hold his drink. Could we set him aflame? <laughs> He's doused in oil. Uh, do I want to know about who's through those fancy curtains? The drow, two of our most popular courtesans. The ears popping up. <laughs> them seems to be rather life-changing, if you can afford it. Well, I can't, because, you know, shut a heart. siblings, but judging from the throngs of clients they draw, most of the city is as disgusting as they are. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the clientele as a whole? That's rather a broad topic. We get all sorts here. But there is one frequent visitor whose very presence offends me. He dresses fabulously, but stinks of the hells. Something infernal, to be sure. Abhorrent. Cool. So worth. Let's see if we are allowed to talk to them or if they cause us uh, trouble. The two men bark softly to each other. A single name reaches your ears. Nine Fingers. It's a name you know. Nine Fingers is the head of the guild, a criminal organization operating inside Baldur's Gate. Deception. Talking about Nine Fingers, I've got business with her. Perception. Listen in on their conversation. Mm. Yeah, deceive these people. Oh yeah, seems everyone's got business with her. Heard the gal met her match. The new kingpin? All meat and muscle, that one. And wild as a werebear. If he's looking to house nine fingers, my blade's got his back. Sounds messy as the ninth hell. Must be why she called us to help. Is that right? The way I heard it, you Zent cut a deal with the new... Hold on. Hey, you still lurking about? I don't remember inviting you to the party. <laughs> Preservation sounds like an interesting business. I'd like to take part. <laughs> and you're airing private matters in a brothel. Persuasion. Look, this subject's not safe. You selling your services, beat feet to the guild hall. Lower city, basilisk gate, cool. guild hall. And that's all you're getting from me. Now, scram! The chat's officially closed. 
Cool. Nice information. Oh, Charessa's caress finances. Did we read that? No, we didn't. Charessa's caress finances, spendings, 20 casks of a Gulf Marin Reserve, 10 casks of Happy Gnome Brew, 10 casks of Higher Spirits, groceries and butcher, massage oil, <laughs> leather treatment, Mary's, no consequences oil, salaries, incomes, oh, oh, they are barely making it, food catering, drinks, hospitality, Almira, Deary, we need to find a replacement for our stern librarian. I hate to do this to her so fast, but we are this close to bleeding all of our savings and we need to bulk up before this little crisis chases away all of our regulars back into their own sheets. We could ask the twins to work separately for now, I suppose. Tonight at Charessa's Caress. Cabaret here featuring Roll the Despoiler, the highest kicks in Baldur's Gate guaranteed. So how many floors are here? I've heard it uh, Let's go in here and see this show. Queen roll the despoiler. You can stare as much as you like. Okay. Um, there is gonna be shapeshifters in here somewhere, right? I kind of suspect these two to be shapeshifters, or at least one of them. Arfro Gregorio. Nine hells. Followed me all the way oh, it's the here. painter, right? What could you possibly no, it's not. It's now? the guy we... we uh... <laughs> Jesus. It's the guy that we intimidated. Monsieur Chopin. Enjoy the fiddling. Throw a few coins our way and let us play on into the night. <laughs> sure. That's safe. My, my. I can tell you are a special one from a single glance. You have but to ask, and we can grant you a moment of pleasure. Don't be shy. <laughs> so stupid. It looks so dumb. How did you end up here? What kind of services do you provide? <laughs> what do you think, silly? Love, of course. Hot and vulgar with me. Or <laughs> sweet and sincere with my sister. Trust me, you don't want to miss my signature Mezzo Baranzan love trick. <laughs> and is that sure. your partner with you? What a gorgeous couple. Perhaps we could come to an agreement. I don't suspect we are going to be, uh, be happy about that. Maybe we come back, but, uh, you know, this wouldn't be a good first time, I think. You two look uncannily alike. I'd like to hire your services, my lady. I want to hire you, beautiful lad. Agreement. What kind of agreement? Why are you interested in my partner? Well, there are two of us, aren't there? Use your imagination. Sheesh. Uh, no, no, no. You two look uncannily alike. Twins. <laughs> okay. You don't actually lie with one another, do you? Ugh. Well, I am certainly not hiring both of you at once. Aren't you at risk of inbreeding if you keep working together? Uh-huh. Since I came to the surface, I purchased an enchantment to bless me with infertility. If that soothes your mind. Uh, you don't actually lie with one another, do you? We can make up a little show of kissing each other, but when we are hired at the same time, there are often many other clients in the room to attend to. <laughs> cool. All right. I'm not sure about that, because, you know, Shadowheart is bait, and we don't want to 
um, no. risk anything here. Although I think it's a pretty cool idea that this is uh, possible. And from the what it sounded like before is like maybe they g uh, we get some kind of buff if we go through with this. Can we go into the kitchen and talk to this guy? Sauceman Chorizo? <laughs> what the fuck is this name, man? What type of service down here, love? I've got a husband. And you ain't my type. <laughs> oh, it's good, man. I didn't come to ask for that. I'm not looking for service. Thank you. I can do better than you anyway. I could show you pleasures your husband never could. <laughs> Look at me. I'm the prostitute now. I'm not looking for service. Thank you. Thank the gods. I've had too many miscreants think my kitchen's just another themed playroom. Got any food going spare? I suppose. If you're willing to pay for it. Ah, oh, cool. It's a shop. Pig's head and spicy pork sausage. <laughs> I think there's enough now sausage in this whole feet, place. Would you? Mm. Ooh. It's a locked door. Oh, shit. Let's see, let's see. Maybe later. <laughs> and they said that Raphael was on the top floor, so I think don't think we're running in risk of running into him for now, uh, because I want to get Astarion in for that. Another case closed, another bottle open. Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> <laughs> what? It's a drunk elephant. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I bet she's put you up to something. I'm just here to drink, afraid so. I found new evidence, investigator. She asked me to find Logan's real killer. See, seeing as you can't be bothered. I think I'm gonna go for the first one, maybe trick him into talking a little more. I'm just here to drink. Well, you won't get a sip for free. I insist you work for it. Propose a toast. And if it's worth drinking to, that is what we shall do. <laughs> Look at that picture. Just st take a step back for a moment and, and <laughs> look at what we are doing here. <laughs> Sitting here with our tiefling monk person. Uh, Trying to get this flying elephant investigator drunk enough so he talks some, uh, so he tells him some secrets. To lazy conclusions and even lazier detective. I'll toast you when you actually solve Father Logan's murder together to performance, to adventure. It's only plus one. But I'll do it. 15! Oh. Yes! <sighs> Tad cliche, but I've drunk to worse. To adventure, and all the dull investigation work it leaves in its wake. <laughs> so stupid. So let's see if we spill some beans. No! I'm about to become terrible company. I wanna... Oh, are you... Sh oh, fuck. I thought there was, there was more here. I presume you've found something interesting to discuss, if you're interrupting me again? Alright, alright. I spoke to a Burgos spirit. A red clawed a dwarf killed them both. A group of shape-shifting assassins were under the temple, along with more murder victims. Uh -huh. While that is startling, it still doesn't disprove my theory that Brilgor killed Father Lorgan. Does it? I need proof. Hard proof. A motive, too. Otherwise, I'm afraid the case remains closed. Okay, cool. So we can come back to him. I presume you've found something interesting to discuss. I spoke to his spirit. That doesn't make sense. Why would this dwarf kill Father Logan? I need something more than vague allegations. Mm -hmm, Look, mm -hmm. I appreciate the amateur investigator act. It's oddly flattering, with emphasis on the odd. But without hard evidence and an alternate motive, I consider this case closed. Okay, so we can come back here with new information. That's really cool.
find the stir librarian. Okay. Okay, there's a bunch of rooms here. Elements' library, this is where uh, this librarian is. This is probably where Raphael is. Nymph's grotto sign, we are not allowed to go in there. Mm. Okay. So let's talk to this librarian first. Moan loudly in the library at all times. <laughs> Holy. Um, I am kind of feeling myself getting a little bit tired and there's so much stuff here. I don't want to miss shit. Um, so I'm actually thinking about taking a break here and tomorrow we come back take care of this cool place this leads over here because at some point we'll have to be able to oh maybe the githyanki are making a deal with Raphael. huh that's kind of weird Although, no, there, there's another door here. Maybe it's closed off. Mm. Uh, I don't... Uh, it's locked. Can we just go in? I mean, let's save once more. Let's try to do a little bit more in this place. Open. Okay. Rules of the reading room. Anyone caught pleasuring themselves in the library will be tethered to the bookcase of chained books. Any wizards caught examining the special collection without express permission will be commanded to read aloud to the whole library the passage they were enjoying. Anyone breaking the silence of the library will be promptly gagged. <laughs> Yoshimo is willing. Overlapping lines. Surgery kick. Ugh. So, but that librarian isn't here, apparently, huh? Strap choker leather ensemble. Jesus. What does it look like? Um. Let's see. <laughs> Huh? Oh, that's boring. I mean, it's not boring, boring. One. Oh, wait, mom. It is kind of better than this. I'm getting tired of this. So, sure. Just yoink that shit out of there. What are the others? Sure. Why not? Just yoinking stuff. Anything of use? Damn. So this leads back out, right? Yeah, it does. Oh, further up. The Quatasune. And the one that got a Thay. Dark color. And another crystal. Scroll. 
School of Magic Enchantment and Ithion's Journal. He's getting worse. The whispers, the night terrors, the blood. I know he's hiding something and the others in the Flophouse know it too. I've seen how they look at him, how they look at me. They're scared of him and I can't blame them. I am too. Cool. Uh, what did we learn? We found Fifion's journal in the, her pleasure room. She seems terrified about something happening to someone dear to her, to her, and scar scared that uh, the patrons in the flop house will have noticed. Cool. More shit in the flop house. Big pot. Cool place. So what? Saucy material did we pick up here? The Quarter Sune. An excerpt from the Quarter Sune. A guide to sexuality, eroticism, and emotional fulfillment. Detailed diagrams accompany every page. On your journey to sensual alignment, treat each passionate encounter as a dance. Your movements should flow from one to another, like a river through the mountains. For instance, it would likely be uncomfortable for you and your partner, or partners, to move immediately from the bugbear bend into the uh, underdog choke. <laughs> Yeah, obviously. Instead, after strenuous positions, gentler ones such as threading the weave or transi transitive plane are encouraged. It is also important to treat your partner's care post-encounter as the final step to this dance. Recipes for scented oils for exhausted muscles, tea blends for sore throats, and massage, massage tips can all be found in later chapters. Cool. The one that got a thay. The text written on the back of this smut advertises it, advertises it. A slow-paced enemies to lovers tale featuring a bitter arch wizard of Thay and his nemesis, a pure-hearted, muscled berserker. <laughs> Schools of magic, enchantment. What is the word, world but a curtain-framed show of villains, heroes, steeds and royals? And who directs them there where to gamble? When to pounce? The School of Enchantment offers its services as a director of the Cosmic Farce. Key terms, enticement, beguilement, manipulation. Key concepts, encode, compel, incite, and thrall. Okay. Uh, her journal didn't... Yeah, that's all. Alright. So, this leads to... The roof? Can we find the cat again? We can't, but this is the... We are here now, so... This here is the uh, the flop house. I guess it's this one. So we've got three doors here. I assume that this is, this is the Gathyanki door. This is where Raphael is staying. And this is the library... Uh, librarian place. So... Anything else up on these roofs? No. Ooh. Broken roof. Okay, cool. Uh, you know what we're gonna do? We'll have a long rest here up on this roof. <laughs> Just chill here on the roof. Mm, and I think I'm gonna end for now because I'm getting tired and this seems like so much stuff. And I think we're have, gonna have to keep our wits about us to remember names and shit like that. So we'll have a rest now. Um, see what uh, our homies in our camp have to tell us. Also, this finally gets rid of the clown face paint. Um... We are not in chill mode. This is what we're wearing here. And um, maybe there's updates with these homies here. And we can refresh our stuff. So let's go to camp. Anything new on your end? I brought my own pairing. No. She's still going to kill us. I don't suspect that there's much new here because we haven't done anything extremely deep watching gods but i never thought i would be happy to see this city again <laughs> much less to smell it 
The Harper safe house I spoke of is on the bridge at Worms Crossing. Oh. Danthelon's dancing axe. Cool. What are you hoping to find there again? Information. The Chosen have a head start on us. I'd like to know what they've done with it. Very cool. Copper for your thoughts. <laughs> I'm kind of scared that if there is a intimate scene with with uh, Shadowheart now, then we'll be wearing this goddamn face yes. shit, this painting. Uh, we will get him into our party next time. Why are they so far apart? Keeping very well, I hope. Uh, yeah. Ooh, doggy. How can I help? I can't. Um, okay, let's pick up Will. Talk to the doggy. See how happy he is that we... Uh, freedom. <laughs> freedom. Arranged for him to come back to our place. It's certainly good to be back at camp. How I've missed the smells. All's well that ends well, eh, boy? Mm -hmm. I'm glad where you were back. Uh, I'm glad you're back where you belong. Indeed. And I'm sure Dringo will do a great job. He always took good care of me. Nice. Still Satisfying. Despite everything, I have a lot on my mind. Bay anything? Good. I was just starting <laughs> to miss the sound of your voice. This <laughs> goddamn. Uh, <laughs> that's of course. Give 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 clown smooch. I suppose you've earned it. All bloody clown smooch. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Continue. Never these By the long. way, uh, how far along are we here? Oh, damn. Relationship is exceptional. Character is thrilled with and very easily convinced by Avatar. Uh, same thing with Shadow... Uh, when they, what? This was Karlak. <laughs> same thing with Shadow Art. And with Will. We got good homies here. Cool. So, anything new about you? Well met. No. Okay. So, let's end the day here. I don't suppose that Lazar has anything to say, but we can check. We will check again once uh, we're in night mode. Oldest gate at last. Oh, she has. We should find Charesse's caress. Voss will be waiting. Mm-hmm, uh mm-hmm. -huh, uh -huh. I guess there's nothing new here. All right, let's end the day. Better not be cursed. Do we still wear that fucking makeup? We do. Ugh. Uh oh. Oh hi. What up, homie? How did you? It's you. I must have let my mind wander. Enough for you to wander in. Forgive me. I am drained. Ever since you killed Catherick and took his netherstone, the Chosen's control of the brain has been... brittle. It's rebelling against Orin and Gortash. Fiercely. I suspected that when we took Catherick's stone, the brain would begin to break free. Those brain quakes confirm that my suspicion was correct. I do not know what happens now when it receives their orders. And I do not dare guess. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An elder brain enslaved is one thing. An elder brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Come. You may as well sit a while, now that you are here. Your company isn't unwelcome. 
What are you doing? You seem troubled. I expected you to be more on guard this close to the brain. Your company is disgusting. <laughs> oh man. Hit him with the old one too. Um, you seem troubled. An accurate summary. I have found myself distracted of late. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No one else. Who do you think of? Someone from your past? You have a love interest. The past is past. Move on. Someone from your past? Indeed. Duke Stelmain. Or as I knew her, Berlin. When she was alive. You oh, thought fuck. you were my first ally. Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was different from my relationship with you. Was it more intimate? Did you manipulate her like you manipulated me? How so? Mm -hmm. In life, she was my business partner. Back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a mind flayer. <laughs> Duke Stelmain trusted me, and the city trusted her. I conceived the plot, but Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone. <laughs> do you need a hug? I'm sorry for your loss. If I didn't know you were a mind flayer, I'd say you were upset. Drop the act. I know you don't have feelings. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss. I appreciate your understanding. What I feel is deeper than superficial cures can reach. And not entirely unwelcome. Most people think that mind flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. I am glad you are not most people. Cool. <laughs> for <the> thumbnails. <laughs> Give the hamburger's hand a reassuring squeeze. Thank you for sharing that. Don't let your guard down again. Um, we won't squeeze his hand because, you know... Um, the thing you said before was that some things don't reach as deep. I don't think that physical contact here is the uh, contact here is the way to go. So we just thank you for sharing that. You have shown me great empathy. We are closer now. Close enough, I hope, that I can ask you to reconsider your position regarding your physical form. <laughs> I know it is no easy choice for you. But we will have a far better time ridding the city of Gortash if you accept just a touch of illithidness. Not to mention the Elder Brain itself. Our chances against it greatly improve the more illithid we both are. Another quake. The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. And so do you. Cool. We're gonna make the rounds again because they will all have had the same dream see what they have to say about that and again these two are not wearing their day outfits hey soldier oh, i guess not yes okay no nothing new all right um how far along are we to level up? Halfway. Okay. Cool. 
so I think we'll call this a day. I'm getting a little bit tired and I want to experience this uh, with a wake mind. Because um, there's so much cool shit to do. I'm very much looking forward to all the rooms in Charest's caress and all the other uh, houses there. And we are... <laughs> We we aren't even inside of Baldur's Gate, and there's so much to do in this tiny little uh, urban space. Um, there's gonna be a lot of cool shit, huh? Um, cool. We've got bless. Why? Random. It's only us. Sure. Hm, doesn't matter. Okay, cool. Let's end this here. I've had very much fun and I'm very much looking forward to playing this again tomorrow. I will play it again tomorrow. I'll be back. Um, and we have will have more fun and we will hopefully finish out Worms Crossing. Again, there's so much to do uh, that I can't even like promise that we'll be done with all that shit. But uh, let's see if we can... Um, how much we can do. Let's just see that. Um... So we can finally actually get into Baldur's Gate and uh, apparently Baldur's Gate is split up into different cities, right? So there's upper city, there's lower, and I think there's some slum part. I don't know if that's lower or if, if there's anything between there. Uh, I suspect this will be just like one huge map and two of those like layered on top of each other. Um, we'll see. Uh, okay, let's, let's have a brief outro here. Let's turn off this in-game sound, bring in the music, and uh, we'll just call it a day. Um, I'm having so much fun. Looking forward to playing this more. Um, as usual, thank you for coming by. I uh, hope you enjoyed yourself. I know I did. And uh, I hope you come back tomorrow and have more fun with me in this game. Um, and other games after that. <sighs> yeah, there's nothing else to add here. Um, I hope you have a great day or a great night whenever you are watching this. And uh, as usual, call your grandparents. They'll be happy about it. And treat yourself to something... Ah, deliciously good cool see you again tomorrow until then be cool and uh be kind see you around bye bye